What's up, everybody? Back again, Warp Charge Gaming, live at Battlegrounds in Midlothian, Virginia. I'm George, and I'm here with my good friend Scott from Black Carapace Studios, and we're about to throw down some Warhammer 40K, 9th edition, 2,000 points, Custodes versus Blood Angels. Very excited. Playing the scouring, you can see kind of my uh, approximate, approximation there of the uh, deployment zones. A weird one. Doesn't go all the way across. Classic hammer and anvil with a little bit less available to us. It's a five objective mission, which is saucy, uh, potentially, <laughs> or, or partly because um, you actually got to get two objectives to get five. A lot of the ones you only got to get one to get five points. And um, there's, we're going to be definitely be fighting over these. Uh, so two objectives to get five points, um, three objectives to get 10 and get more than the enemy for uh, 15 or an additional five, basically. Right. Um, and what's crazy about that, we both chose Domination as our secondaries, so we're both going to be trying at the end of our player turn to have more, uh, the majority of the objectives on the board, so three of them. Uh, I went with Assassinate, I think you have four characters I'm going to try to be killing. Yep. And uh, which was kind of cool because you countered with a, a Blade of Sanguinius uh, secondary where you made a challenge with uh, your uh, awesome guy on a bike. And I chose my awesome guy on a bike to accept the challenge and try to fight you on the table. That's right. Um, and then grind them down. I'm the custodes. I'm big and bold and gold. And I'm going to <laughs> attempt not to die. <laughs> uh, so if uh, I can kill more than you in a uh, battle round, then I will get three points. Uh, super awesome bet and safe bet for the studies. Yeah. And uh, Deploy Scramblers was a tough choice for you. That was your third one. Yeah, the third one because your army gives up absolutely nothing in terms of secondaries. Not easily, yeah. Um, I had a choice of Deploy Scramblers, the one in the backfield in your deployment zone. I can't remember what that is. Um, it's like something like the beacons. And then I was thinking about Interrogate because his characters have to come up, but that basically nullifies the use of my Librarian Dreadnought, mm -hmm. and I have to keep him back the entire time. Um, so yeah, deploy scramblers. It's not something I normally do, but we're gonna test it out for sure. a solid ten points. Sure. I always look for abhor the witch, but you only had one psyker, so couldn't do that. And they made that less good. That's I got to keep in mind the uh, the FAQ they seem to do on the secondaries is good. Right. Some things are a little less uh, easy to score. So um, here we are, friends, and we're about to throw down the two L's in the middle. We're going to play as true line of sight. Even if you're inside of them, you can't see through or out of them. It's just going to be a real wall. But the four ruins that are on the outskirts of the board, they're going to have windows all the way around. And these kind of hill pieces that we're standing on here, we're not going to count vertical distance. They're just line of sight blocking, and they do provide cover if you're touching or on it. Um, and yeah, there's got a couple woods out there, you know, doing what woods do. It's going to be cool. So let's show you guys the armies and then get into it. Uh, let's make this button go. Do you want me to go first? Uh, I think I'll, sh I'll sh probably usually show mine, just to get it out of the way here. Okay. Uh, that's a button. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay, they're cool. So here's the Custodes, friends. I brought this yesterday. I've been playing a lot of these. I just got the army. This is only my third time playing them. Uh, so I'm having a great time. Usually only CC type guy. Uh, we got Telamon holding it down in the middle, and we have Valeris and a Vexilla chilling next to him. The Vexilla took the, we're the household or shield ho host. Uh, that is the one that gives us, oh, it's uh, called the Dread Host. And uh, what we get with that is a cool warlord trait and a relic and a stratagem. The stratagem lets us do a 3d6 charge, pick the two highest. Uh, and that's exciting because we have a unit of six Alaris Terminators with axes in reserve. Right. We may not need to care about that 3d6 though too much because I got a Vexilla stratagem, a Vexilla teleport that could let them land within six of that guy and, and within three of enemy models. So yeah. that could be really cool if I can get that off. It's usually three command points, but we took the hero Tarjan the Valerius or something like that. I like calling him just Valerius. He's over here. I'm doing terrible camera work at the moment, but there he is. And he gives reroll once a hit and wound. Uh, within a six inch aura, and he lets me use a stratagem for free once per game, or a couple of other things like fight twice or uh, heal wounds. Um, so the cool thing I took is on this guy he has three different bonuses on the Vexilla besides the cool <laughs> teleport stratagem. He's gonna give extra attacks within six. He's gonna give uh, exploding hits on sixes within six. And then if anybody dies within six, that's a biker and infantry, on a four plus they get to fight or shoot before they get, uh, get taken off the board. So that's all pretty cool. Um, and then beyond that, we got two units of the jet bikes, um, and they're going to be awesome. Telemon has what you see, a fist, and then that gun. That's the cheaper gun. Uh, I think I, I like it because it's cheaper. And then in the very tippity back, we're going to have uh, two of the Sagittarians. I, I took a single patrol here, and these are some Forge World infantry wow. units that have 
uh, basically three damage bolters, and they have two different profiles. They're gonna, they can shoot both the profiles on their weapon, but they'll be at minus one, but they're also assault, so they can advance and not care about the double minus one. And then the back is the guy that was challenged, and he's buffed up. He's got the, uh, the blood games going on. He's gonna be able to reroll a hit, a wound, or a save. And he's gonna have a five up in with superior creation. Or, I'm sorry, five up feel no pain. Three up in with his relic. And now what's his his invol is what a three up? It's three up because of a relic, yeah. I think three it's the bike he's on. Oh yeah, and it gives him reroll charges. All right. Uh a five up feel no pain, three up in bone, reroll hit, wound and save, and he has some other cool. Oh yeah, he charge, has the destroyer, uh, unstoppable destroyer, where it's basically like a Harlequin bike or something. He can he can jump in and pile in D3 plus three to the nearest enemy model or any model within yep. inside that range band. Uh, and when I consolidate, I can go any which way, not having to go towards the nearest enemy model any longer. So you can actually hit and then run basically. So kind of cool. Uh, so there it is, six big beefy uh, Terminators in reserve and they have all kinds of strats. They can target characters for two CP, keep in mind. Uh, when they drop down, they can have yep. double the shots. They can turn into the Den of Lions and break into break six into individual everyone, Alaris. Yeah. I've never got to do that yet, hopefully today. Let's look at the Blood Angels. Okay, so yeah, the term awesome is what all custodians get to do. <laughs> uh, Blood Angels though, innately, right? I get plus one to advance and charge rolls. I get plus one to wound in melee. And then on the Assault Doctrine and beyond, right? Or once that's activated, I'll get plus one attacks when charged, when charging, when heroically intervening. And this is my army. So first we're gonna start off with someone who's not present on the board. If we can see that, day day. I can, when you put him down. A little Aversor Assassin for you. I have around 350 or so points in my list of fluffy stuff. Not necessarily fluffy, but stuff I don't know whether to do it. So I've been just testing out a few different things here and there. Uh huh. Um, so that's one character. We all know and love the Aversor. He's a missile that just comes in, suicides, kills hopefully something more challenging with the Custodes army, but we'll see what happens. And then moving on to HQs, we have a Librarian Dreadnought, and I've given him a couple psychic powers because he comes with two. One is the Shield of Sanguinius, which he can give a five-up invul save to another unit, and then of course the Wings of Sanguinius so you can make a Dreadnought fly, which is really important. The other cool thing I gave him was I gave him Warlord trait, and that's Duty Eternal. So he gets an extra wound, and he has a six-up feel no pain. Okay. Or sorry, that's Iron Resolve. Duty Eternal is the minus one damage right, to right. everything that's out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Next HQ would be my awesome dude, as you said, the Primaris Chaplain on bike. Thank you, Dustin Zella, for letting me borrow the model that Black Carapace Studios painted up for him. It's not White Scars, it's Blood Angels today. Um, so we're gonna be playing that. I wasn't quite ready with the Blood Angels model. Hey, he challenged me. He is um, officially Blood Angel. He, that's right. And he is going to be the challenger and the Sword of Sanguinius. I gave him everything. He's got two <laughs> Warlord traits and he has a relic. His, his yelling loud or his inspiring presence right is gonna be Mantra of Strength, which gives him the extra attacks and strength characteristics along with plus one damage characteristics. He also has the Canticle of Hate Aura, which comes naturally, but that's um, that's okay. He gives a plus two on the charge, stuff like that. Uh, he has the Gift of Foresight, or what I like to refer to as better than blood games. <laughs> so I get to reroll a save and a wound and a hit every single turn. That's not, so good. Not the word or, but and, so that's really good. Um, he has a Master of Sanctity, so he, he has another litany, and that's the litany of hate, not just the Canticle of Hate. He has Rosarius, of course. Um, I gave him the Warlord trait Imperium Sword. That's a second Warlord trait, so he can reroll charges and adds one to his strength and attacks characteristics. So now we're up to strength six, if everything goes off. And then I finally gave him the Relic Benediction of Fury, which six is to wound, do a mortal wound, and it's also three damage flat. So he'll be doing like seven attacks on the charge at four damage a pop. Um, he's pretty good at and strength eight. So he's a missile, he is awesome. He yeah. does all the things. Wow. Okay. Next, my last <laughs> that, HQ. That guy has as much rules as your whole army. He really does. It's like tag everything onto that one guy. <laughs> and because he, he is just he's just good on like all Space Marine armies, basically. Mm. Um, Tech Marine, up top. So I'm running a Dreadnought list, which is not a typical thing in Blood Angels, right? You normally see a lot of jump packs, stuff like that. And the reason is because we have a tournament coming up and there's like a monster mash theme. So yes. if you have five Dreadnought models, you might qualify for this. So I have five Dreadnought-ish models and he's gonna be buffing them up. Ah, so we're seeing a preview of some Monster Mash for the uh, June 5th tournament, excellent. That's, that's the hope, we'll see if it's viable, but it's definitely fun. Um, he's got a whole sort, sort of weapons because I gave him the uh, like the rack on him, if you will, so he's got the Flamer, the Plasma Torch, as well as a Storm Bolter. I gave him Quake Bolts, if you're not familiar with what those are. 
They can fell an opponent if they hit, and that gives anyone who attacks that opponent a plus one to their hit rolls. Mm -hmm. He also heals for a natural three because I gave him the Master of the Forge ability, and he's a Warden of the Ancients, which just gives him plus one attacks and strength characteristics to Dreadnoughts within six inches. That's him. He's he a buffing unit. He sounds like he does his job well. He does He does a pretty good job. He's a really good support unit, and if he gets taken out early, it's annoying. Sure. Um, troops, I have three units of Assault Intercessors. One I broke down into combat squads. It was a unit of ten, and only one of them has an actual plaza pistol. That's the only thing that's not WYSIWYG today, and I think I put him up here on this. Uh-huh. Moving on to Elites. Okay, Blade Guard veterans pictured over here. There's just four of them, and I gave their sergeant the Neo Volkite pistol because I think it's a cool pistol. Death Company Dreadnought sitting back here with his flamer and melt, or heavy flamer, sorry, and melt a gun. A Furioso Dreadnought with a cool little banner over on the other side of the Tech Marine, and he's got the frag launcher as well as a Furioso fist and a heavy flamer. The Invictor Tactical War Suit, just yes. finished painting him the other day. He's got, you know, the 17 guns that those things come with, and he gets to infiltrate, which is kind of cool. I am going first, so I don't expect him to do much more than get on the center objective and then maybe live, probably not live, well, versus their well, awesome bikes. Like we said right before the beginning, um, what's nice is that domination can be scored at the end of your player turn, right. even it looks like on the first turn. Right, um, so at least he'll get me some points, and then you're forced to go to the center anyhow because you have the same thing and go target him. Um, so he'll go and do that. A Leviathan Dreadnought. This kool-aid man <laughs> breaking through the walls <laughs> is bad to the bone i love these things yeah i wish you could take more than one per i don't attachment. see very many put them in uh, uh what that don't take double guns so i really like seeing yours in like an action pose ready to fight if you're not fighting as a blood angel you should just pick a different <laughs> that's uh, cool honestly yeah um, you know go be something else that people might care about more He's got the Siege Claw, a melt gun a Storm Cannon Array, which is the eight shots, strength seven minus one, two damage each. Twin Neo Volkite, or sorry, just twin Volkite calibers. Those are heavy four each, and they can potentially do mortals. And then I also gave him three Hunter Killer Missiles, because I can make him hit on twos. And that's a nice little one-punch thing to maybe kill a vehicle, or in your case, maybe do some damage to a Telamon, maybe take out a bike, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. And then I think the last Elite, is going to be Sanguinary Guard. There's five of them off the table right now, and never leave home without them if you're a Blood Angel player. There's many competitive lists out there that are redundant with them, right? They have 30 of these bad boys, even though Blood Angels probably don't have that many in the entire company. Um, <laughs> but they're super strong. At 160 points, 150 points or something, 150 points, they do work. Uh, and then lastly, I put a Vindicator in the list. Right. At Toughness 8, with a plus one to his save, he makes a nice little either shield or just a nice little artillery unit that's sitting in the back that when he swings, if he swings, it swings pretty hard. Doesn't need line of sight, that thing? It does need line of sight. Oh, it it's does. It's not in direct oh. fire, unfortunately. Okay. So not, okay. It's up. I got scared for a second. <laughs> no, it's not in direct. It's only 24 inch range and it needs line of sight. Okay, okay. Well, I'm glad that you Come rolled on. to go first. Uh, I was not thrilled to go first and uh we we got some ground to cover uh, so yeah I, I welcome you to the center of the table <laughs> <laughs> okay so before the battle round get, begins i can do the the fury of the forlorn i believe it's called it allows death company to move uh -huh. before the the turn begins right in this case i don't i don't know if there's like a big advantage to that death company dread sitting over there costs two whole cp i only start with seven um I'm just looking at the distance to this objective, and I don't think I need it to get to the objective, so I, think, I don't think I'm gonna do it. So okay. we'll just go ahead and go to turn one. This is reasonable to me. <laughs> we'll go ahead and move this guy onto center objective, because I know he's gotta do that anyhow. Sure, yep, we pre-measure, we know you can get there. Yep, 10 inches. And then he's gonna move a little bit further than he has to, just to get line of sight, and maybe put some damage down. Sweet. If I get a bomb advance for these guys, they might be able to get on the objective too. So we'll go ahead and. You're on do the table that. if you want. Oh, I got a one. They that was not, not what you were looking advance. for. It's, it's plus one to advance though, so we'll hey. just shift them over. Okay. Same with these guys. We'll move them down. These being my just my assault intercessors. They're there to provide screen, and you know, on turn three, they actually do a little bit of work. So I need a six for an advance roll if they want to play the game. Good luck. 
No. Not all day. But I can bump them against that line of sight blocking terrain. And they can come Kool-Aid Man after that. Okay, the trick is I can see a bike on there. So we have to give the Leviathan something to shoot at. That is reasonable. He is the one I'm probably most scared of when it comes to shooting. And he's going to have the, in my command phase, sorry, he's going to get the plus one to his shooting. Okay. Now, doesn't he already have a natural two up to hit? He used to. Oh, they took that away? Yeah. They, oh, yeah, because they updated Forge World. Yeah, they, they nerfed him a little bit. So he's only toughness seven now, and he only hits on threes. Oh, wow. I yeah. didn't know that. Glad I sold mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. -uh. Yeah, they're like 280 points. Oh, they were like ridiculously costed before. Yeah. Well, even even though they were actually still fair fairly costed. What any models in them? We'll go ahead and, and advance the depth company. Two two hundred something. Though, that's cheap. There weren't any models. Put him in that minus one to hit. We'll advance these assault intercessors in the back. Actually. They get to move to here in the terrain. And just so I have objective secured, I could put them on that terrain. I don't think it's needed just yet. Well, he could just kill my, my dreadnought, so we'll do the smart thing. Sometime. Yeah. Good, man. They'll get a five inch move. We left one behind. Never leave one behind. Never leave one behind. <laughs> leave no transhuman behind. <laughs> okay. So you got two of them so far. Hey, no, no play for, um, no Librarian Dreadnought will just move up. He doesn't have anything to shoot. I don't even think there's a psychic power for him to go ahead and lay waste to. We'll advance these other intercessors. They already had enough range to get in, so they're going to be moving eight. Thing. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> okay, and last is a Furiosa Dreadnought. His range on his weapons is only 12 inches, so we're going to hide him a little bit mm. so he can come out and maybe play later. We're loving the you go first thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was really sad. I was like, yes, please send your entire this is helpful. You know, you, you know, unit structure towards me, and I'll go ahead and, and take care. Only thing good about first to it, for me would have been I one extra or a little bit earlier with the Olaris hitting the table, but can you go ahead and roll me advance, George? Yeah, you want to advance? Sure. Yeah, I'll roll you better than one. Five. Oh, that's how you do it. These hands are hot. They are. <laughs> so that's a six for for Blood Angels. Okay. Yeah, all I'm rolling sixes a day. I can feel it. And then I don't think that's not 24 inches. So it all depends on where I want the minus one to hit from a giant tank is the question. But we'll go ahead and move him this way. So we'll turn for probably two, three, and then seven. And then the question is, do we advance him? I don't think it's necessary this round. Nothing's really gonna be shooting. Okay, I think that concludes the movement phase. Okay. We'll go ahead and go to psychic phase. Yes. Whoops. Um, I have to pick a unit within 12 inches. I'm going to go ahead and try to give a 5-up invulnerable save to my Invictor Tactical Warsuit. Excellent. And you have no denies, right? No. I right. could spend a command point, you know, as per a lot of things in the <laughs> Custodes here, but yeah, no. D not today? Yeah, I could for 1 CP, but I'm not going to care. Okay. I needed a 6, got a 7. Um, he'll have a 5-up invul, so that's good to know. So maybe that gives him some... He is the five of Oh, you cast it on someone else yeah. from this guy. I can't cast it on him, but it's any Blood Angels unit within 12 inches. Cool. All right, so moving on to the shooting phase, um, we'll go ahead and do best first, because I can only see one bike, and that's probably what we should we should shoot. So moving on to the Leviathan Dreadnought. Ooh. Yeah, this is what we all want to see. So I do have missiles, and it may be the best thing to use them right away, because uh, I can see you. I doubt I'm going to kill him right away, so you'll probably have, you have still more opportunities to, you, but... You have four wounds on your bikes? Yes. Yeah, you're not going to kill him right away. I'm, so I'm going to save those missiles for the next round of shooting. Cool. Okay, so we're just going to do eight shots. First with the, the storm cannon. Yep, you're shooting at the bikes. Cool. And there's a cheeky little 
line of sight there. Everything's going to go into them, the Volkite and the... Very good. Can you measure... Is That's probably 30 inches away, um, right? Now, what's probably my best interest right now is I think for 2 CP, I can make it so that you have to wound on 4s. Oh, you can kind of transhuman them? Yeah. Um, I'll be wounding on 3s right now with both of these weapon profiles. There's a lot of guns coming at me. I think I'll go ahead and pop that. Okay, so only wounding on fours? Uh, yes. Nice. Any non-vehicle and bikes don't count. Arcane genetic alchemy. Okay. So uh, that's true. I mean, you're like, you're like made. Cool. So, so I will go ahead and pop two and try to keep these guys alive. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna be hitting on twos. Not rerolling ones. And you're actually at eight command points. You haven't spent any CP yet, right? Wounding in four. I have not spent okay. any CP. All right, you're only gonna take two wounds there. Did you get some threes? These are at minus one. Yeah, he did. Get those threes out <laughs> Yeah, he did. All right, so Sad minus day. one, three ups. Pass one, fail one, does two damage? Two damage each. I'm gonna go ahead and CP this. Oh, wow, already? No. Does two um, damage. Okay. As I stated. All right, moving on to the Volkite Blasters. Unfortunate. He's hit on twos too. What's with the ones? Did you give me the bad dice again? Yeah. All right, threes again, well, fours, sorry, but sixes do immortal. One wound, no AP. Ooh, that was good for me. That was good for I you. I came out okay. Did you roll some threes there? I hope so. Yeah. Aha! Like it worked. <laughs> yeah. Legal cheating. Yeah. Dang it. Yes. At least I rolled bad, huh? All right. Well, you killed one because I rolled terrible. Mike gone. You only got two through or three wounds through, and I failed uh, with rerolls. All right. Everything from the. I can't see the single one. Uh, the whatever these guys are. Right. I can't see them. So I guess everything into the bikes from. The Invictor tactical war suit with his hundreds of guns. The, the uh, yeah, and you'll still be uh, four pluses, you know. Yeah, the Incendium cannon is not within range, right? Yeah, there's no, yeah, no way. Uh, we can dream though. That's what <laughs> America was built on. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> am I within 18 inches? I hope so. I, I, I hope so because I want to charge you. Yes, I am within 18 inches. Cool. Okay, frag storm grenade launcher assault D6 for four shots. He'll be hitting on threes for two hits. Wounding on, I'm guessing, fours? No, fives. You're toughness five, right? Uh, toughness six on bikes. Oh. One wound, no AP. One wound on the bikes. I should be fine here. You should be. Twos. Yay. Two. Oh, they have a two up? Yeah. Man, annoying. Um, if they have a two up, you have a bike back. Really? The Volkite Blaster is... I was rolling twos though on my saves. I know it has no AP, but it is heavy, so it's minus one on this turn. Sorry, because I'm in the oh, yeah. heavy doctrine. Okay, so this so we're good then. Yeah, we yeah, played it right. Yeah. This was the heavy bolter, two hits with that, and so this is a heavy weapon too. So this will be minus two AP if I wound. Uh, your toughness six, so I need fives again. One wound at minus two. Okay, so two separate uh, weapon profiles here, right? Got a minus two, and then heavy bolters minus one, but minus two because of the doctrine. Uh, heavy bolter is just one wound. Okay, one win for the heavy bolter. Okay. Saves it, and then the other one you already saved. Oh, okay. You got a you got a two up. That was with the oh, okay, storm cool. grenade launcher. You're good there. And then two twin iron hail heavy stubbers. Oh. <laughs> you're doing it. I know they have so many weapons, but I needed a, you know I needed a uh, a fifth dreadnought. Nice. That was really good. This is only strength four though, so I'm still gonna need fives to win you. Ooh, that was better. Three at minus two this time because it's a heavy weapon. All right. Three at minus two. We're gonna need some fours. Ouch. Nice. Rolls are bad. Yeah, threes are bad. Single huh? damage? Just one, one okay. damage each. So uh, down to one left on a bike. Okay, and I don't think I have anything else that can reach out and really touch them. Everything else kind of advanced. Um, I have a melt and a heavy flamer. Those are just 12 inch range. Vector went storm. I mean, I have storm bolters, but I don't think that's not that's more than 24 inches. Heavy bolt or heavy bolt pistols are 18 inch range, right? Heavy, uh, I couldn't tell you. I've never shot a heavy bolt pistol. Sounds like some Primaris nonsense have, to me. Have you never lived? <laughs> oh, never mind. They advanced, so they're not going to shoot that. I think that's all the shooting, and unfortunately, oh, that is not all the shooting. Sorry. Okay. Um, you can't target him. But the Furioso is going to launch his smoke launchers. And I don't think I needed to launch smoke launchers for the the, the Death Company Dreadnought. It, it's already kind of 
Okay, you're not going to be shooting anything and, and ignoring that penalty over there. Reasonable. You don't have any type of like ignore terrain or anything, do you? No. I mean, I might have a stratagem, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> you probably do have a stratagem. Yeah, so I think that's it. I'll just pop smoke on the three of so in case you decide to be cheeky and come around and try to hit him with, you know, th three damage bolters. Okay, okay. So uh, that, there has been sauce. You just took out some expensive things that I love. I took out one bike. Two bikes. No, no, no. Yeah, one. Yeah, but you got one, left, one, on one, one left. It feels like you took out two because I did three fails we can, in a row. We can remove a second one. I don't you, want to. If you want to. No. no. Okay. I'm sad. It's not Christmas. Um, <laughs> but I still do. He is alive. You're right. That is some shots he will get to take. Uh, we're going to go into the bottom of turn one for the custodes to kick off a retaliation turn here. We got some targets. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I made a mistake. Go ahead. Because I haven't played it before. I'll do mistakes. I'm sure. Can I deploy scramblers? Yeah, of course. Okay. We're going to deploy outside my deployment zone here. Okay. Which I think means I have to move them back. You're still going to need somebody that's inside your deployment zone. But no, they can move up and scramble in the middle if you want. Or basically, it's scramble in your deployment zone, scramble in the middle, scramble in my deployment zone. Right. Right. But I advance them. So I cannot do that. What, when you advance, you can't do actions? No, but uh, I can do it with a character, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so I'll just do it with my um, my tech, tech marine. Okay, so he needs to remain in your deployment zone, right? No, I'm doing the outside one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to go back, hoof it back for the other one. That's I cool. totally forgot about scramblers. That's good. All right, so you got that going on. Um, and if you get the middle and you get my deployment zone, you'll get 10 points, basically, is how that works. Pretty yeah. sure. Okay, great. Um, and then otherwise, Domination, you did just score three points, correct? I believe so, yeah. yeah. I have three objectives at the end of my turn. More I'm going to go up to four command points. Uh, and then Blade of Sanguinius is still in effect. I'm sorry, characters cannot do scramblers. Oh, okay. So I need to, are you okay with me reverting a move? I'm, I'm totally okay with it. It's, it might be to your advantage if you kill a Death Company Dreadnought. Cool. Um, it's still going to be outside my deployment zone, but these guys will remain in cover. In cover. Because they were outside, they were just, you know, outside of line of sight before. Yep, yep. And they'll do deploy scramblers outside my deployment zone. Okay. So I got you for Sorry three. about that, folks. That's easy enough. I'm sure I'll have one or two. I was going to say, I'll give you one. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to four command points. I spent a hefty couple on, um, I ended up spending three. So I went down to three and then went up one. Yes, okay, great. So here we go. I'm going to try to assassinate, dominate, and grind them down. You haven't killed a unit yet, so if I can kill one unit, I get a grind them down point this round. That's right, and, and I really believe that's possible with Should an objective war suit sitting possible. in the middle. Better be possible, yeah. Better be possible. Let's go ahead and move nine. And I think that that is worth trying to make a charge on. I don't know. Oh, man. Nine. Do you have any uh, fight first, fight last uh, neck? My no. entire army always fights first. That's a new rule for Blood Angels that was fact before the game. No. It doesn't. No, I have nothing awesome like that, unfortunately. No. <laughs> uh, George is looking at me like, that doesn't sound good. And I'm waiting for the joke. Waiting for <laughs> it. <laughs> no um, joke. All sincerity. <laughs> it can't be real. I don't trust the Marines. All right, so seven looks like it's going to be able to tap no. me there. It's not bad. Sure. Overwatch doesn't seem viable versus toughness eight. It's not bad at all. Uh, so that feels good. And then we got these guys we want to clear off. And also, just by your own three objectives, by simply removing you off of one of them, you only saw five, five points. points. Yep. You know, but if I can get three, that'd be great. Um, so let's go ahead and advance our buds in the back here, the Sagittarians. Hiya, get a five. So that'll be an 11 inch move. And then we'll go tap this objective like we were hoping and praying they would. Um, I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and line up in a row here to be able to whoosh, hit a nice clean line uh, to one of your models there. Yeah. Without having to shoot through these woods, basically, is the intention. I should have hmm, should have positioned properly. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think I can do it right there to this guy's base. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, so that's cool and great. And then... Let's see, next we will give them some support. We got these bikes about to go down and we got this uh, Telemon that might not necessarily make it to the uh, to the charge, you know, that things could happen. I feel like this two-man squad is ready to fight for the Emperor. So we're gonna go ahead and get them into, uh, into the scene. Let's take this. 
bring you guys along here. Excellent. All right, so these cats here, 14 inches. Oh, yeah, they get right up in the action. Oh, yeah. Got our friend here. Basically, he's going to go here. Five up in, ball, baby. I can do it all day. I just have to preload the dice. I'm basically, that's an insurance <laughs> policy right there, yep, mainly. Yep. You know, if anything, I stole the objective with OPSEC. Right. Uh, so even if, if Telemon does make it, maybe I don't charge. I don't know. I, I don't know. Uh, we'll think about that. Technically, we might make a bomb to the Relic Leviathan. Now, I think you would take that Overwatch. Good, by all means. Can you do a, a five up Overwatch by any, by any chance? No, I cannot. Okay. All right, so next we will go ahead and uh, hit the guys over there in the corner. Uh, the other Sagittarian, you want to roll me in advance? Yeah. I will gladly roll your one, though. Three. Three. That's okay, that's average. That's respectable. Weird, I don't see that dice on the. Uh... I don't see the dice either. That's odd. Something has happened. I probably hit a button that turned it off. Say, have we, have we not been sharing dice rolls? Where you at, chat? Not helping us out with that. I have, I have folks, folks texting me, you better win. <laughs> I believe in you. I will fix the dice in a moment. Uh, a you rolled me a three, right? Yep. So I will go uh, nine inches, which still taps this objective. We're happy about that. I'll go ahead and roll on the table if you need anything. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. Let me take a quick moment, friends, see if I can rock this without taking too much time. We put some dice, the di there, we put some more dice in the tray for me. That is something that usually doesn't go out, so that's awkward. Try this button and then this button. As someone getting into the it. streaming field, oh, look at that. Woo! Easy enough. See, when you have to, when you have things go wrong often, then you get good at troubleshooting. Um, okay, here we go. Fixed, problem solved. You can go and take those dice out of there for me, Scott. These guys just advanced up to this objective, so both the Sagittarians took the objectives that are just outside of our deployment zone. The bikes went up to the middle. So now we've got another unit of bikes that we want to be a little more careful with. They need to be able to respond accordingly. Um, what's ter Re too bad they can't respond. jump over the wall, you know, with that. They can. They fly, right? Yeah, but not when they charge. Because what oh, I was, okay. yeah, what yeah, I was I just you. dreaming of is I go behind this wall and I save them to stooping, uh, stooping advance, whatever the thing where I yep. basically counter charge you in your turn. But I would have to go around the wall, you know. That makes sense. Because uh, otherwise it would be a perfect position. Huh. So I really don't want them being shot by a Leviathan again is my main shtick. I could go ahead and try to shoot your guys that just went to go scramble to try to stop them from doing more activities like that. Feels decent. Uh, your bike your bike that's buffed to hell, he can just pick up and go, right? If he needs to take off, he can take off. Yeah, he moves 14 inches, um, so he's he's got a decent reach. 14 inches. And plus one to the charge. And then you got your guy that can move six and then go 12. 12, yep. yeah. With a psychic power. Hmm, taking, denying this, because I also can auto advance six, which just barely. But you can't charge after that, right? No, but I could steal the objective, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like it. But 20 inches is too short by like an inch. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm at like. Said, said no one ever. 20 point, yeah. yeah, 20 and a half. Okay, so I just barely can't make that distance. But that doesn't mean I couldn't make a charge. 14. So you could make a bomb charge. It'd be 10 inches. Because when it, you have it, fly, you ignore the minus one, the charge uh, penalty for woods. I think when you have on fly. On the charge? Yeah, I think when you have fly, you can ignore the minus two on the charge. Yeah, I think on all your movement you do, yeah. So we're 20. We're 24 inches away. Right, is that, yeah. So that means it'd be a 10 inch charge. It's not terrible. It's like, it's a thing. Yep. It would be a pretty big deal if it had, well, it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but it'd be cool. Yeah, I like it. You're getting really, really greedy. I like uh, it. I it's, think it's too it's greedy. Overextend yourself. I, I like think it. it's a little greedy. I think it's overextending. <laughs> 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 uh, especially when I got more troops to kill. And I think that these guys are going to be really effective at that. I don't want to let them die too easy or get turned off. So I think I'll just keep these guys in the back burner, to be honest. Um, what we're going to do, I'm asking myself, do I want to move to this piece here or do I actually want to back up and that's why I'm just trying to gauge your movement potential here these guys got to go around 
You're not going to shoot me regardless. So, yeah, I'm just going to bury myself against this wall. I don't want to be out of the fight. Okay. I want them to be present. So, if you worked for it, you might be able to turn these off while getting into combat with them. Not that they, you would survive that or anything. I, I could. You I could, could try. totally survive that. You could try that. <laughs> you could try that, Scott. All right, so now we need to think about Valeris and the Vexilla um, being yes, able to help out. That's right. Tarzan and your standard. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and have the bearer. I think it's um, Trajan, isn't it? Trajan. I was. It's Trajan Valorius or yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah. I always call him by his last name because I easier. like Tarzan though. That was, that was Dusty's idea. <laughs> Tarzan. Yes, yeah, Tar Tarzan. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's go ahead and have the Bannerman. He's going to help in combat a little bit, which is good. He can get right up next to that wall. He can be next to Telmon. Cool. Advancing. He goes five Damn. again. We're doing good on those. So that's like an 11. He's basically just going to go ahead. Here's nine, 10, 11. He's going to bury himself right here. I'm happy with that. If I make these bikes make over there, that's smarter. Happy days. And then Valeris, who also could be helping me out right now, if he can get within range. He'll go ahead and advance. Going seven. And he's just gonna go to here. So our friend that has been challenged, he has decisions to make. Uh, let's see here. Let's trade you places. Let's see. Uh, the challenge, friend. You move 18 inches. Tape measures are good. This is the last guy I need to move, friends. 18 inches about. It gets you right over into my deployment zone very quickly. Uh, doo -doo. We don't want to be a scaredy pants. We also don't want to be dumb. Some would want that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I know someone else that wouldn't mind an opportunity. <laughs> Again, we don't want to be out of the fight. We're going to put him in a position that gives him a chance to do some work on this next turn. So he'll, he'll hang out behind the uh, bike squad that just moved up into position. We kind of mimicked your turn a little bit by using these L's. Uh, now we're going to just kind of hope that we have the output required to take care of the job. Uh, I did notice a small folly, and I'll go ahead and take advantage of your mistake earlier and fix mine. I'm going to just make sure that these guys have a line of sight to the guys on the objective. Feel me? Yeah. So we're going to go like that. Just a small scoot over because we need a backup plan if these Sagittarians can't do the job. Okay. We are ready to go to the shooting phase because we have no psychic. Uh, and that makes that button look cool. All right, cool. So now let's do this. These cats here, they advance. They're going to be minus one to shoot. They're going to use their second, uh, both weapon profiles because they're cool like that. Are you talking about the frag? The launchers? Sagittarians, oh, yeah. the Sagittarians, yeah. We've got two different profiles. It's the, uh, the bolt volley and the beam, the disintegration beam. So we'll be doing both and we'll be doing it into the squad here. And we'll be threes to hit. I'm going to definitely spend a command point and transhuman them. Okay, fair so enough. I'll go down to seven. Oh, cool. It's only one for you now? Well, the unit's five or less. Oh, neat. I didn't know that. I got you. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where you're Scott's trying to are. help me out. So you're going down to seven command points? Yes. Yeah. Cool. Keeping them alive is reasonable. reasonable. It matters. Right. Okay, so here's my three shots minus one. Ow, I'm rolling terrible, dude. Those did not do good. You know, as a as a companion, I, I, I'm I sorry. As, uh, as a competitor at the moment, I'm not. Now, they do get three shots a, a guy, so I'll just roll six more. Woo. There we go, a little better. And then uh, these are two damage piece, strength five, so need threes. Fours. All oh, right, transhuman. Ooh. No threes, Look how though. bad that rolls. Dang. One save, one minus save one. One save and minus one. You're good. Golden. And then here's the beams. Now Looks these like are you. three damage apiece. Uh, three shots. Good golly. One hit. <laughs> Ouch. Oh man. Apparently they can't roll good. That's all right. You're not allowed to win every engagement. We have more things That's to do. Tot totes more. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be rapid firing though. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and put all 12 shots into these boys here. What up, Heretic? Good to see you, friend. All Heretic. right. Stand, stand fast. My, um, my quality control. Heretic always That's helps right. me out. Keep, keep me good out there, buddy. You're my eyes in the sky. 
All right, so Inheritor, give me some luck. I just rolled terrible, and uh, it's not been going good. No luck. We're, We're going to fix no that luck. now. All right, so these bikes, they are going to go ahead and shoot you. They're not in rapid fire range. They'll get six shots apiece of the Hurricane Bolters. They are next to Valeris, though. Okay. So we will get uh, twos to hit. Rerolling ones for the Emperor. Wonderful. Okay. And it's strength four here, so we need fours. Yeah. We would have needed it anyways because it's transhuman. We didn't get any ones to reroll. That many AP nothings. AP nothing. I yeah. like AP nothing. Yeah. Damage on these? One. Okay, so one and a half will perish. One and a half. There still looks like Telemon is going to be required here. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to kill him is basically what that turns out to be. Um, let's see what kind of output Telemon has. So Telemon has a cool gun I didn't realize he had yes till yesterday uh, inside of his fist. It's called the Twin Plasma Projector. Oh. So he's, he's going to target... On a one, he dies, right? To hit? No. <laughs> doesn't blow up? No. no. Right. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and target the uh, the battle suit in the middle with the 12-inch uh, plasma weapon in oh, his yeah. fist. That makes sense. And I'll try to shoot the guys on the objective with the other weapon. Oh, with the giant cannon? Uh, yeah. Oh, because you have two profiles in that, right? Yeah. I have the Spiculus Bolt Launcher and the Accelerator Culverin. I'm going to shoot those both into the squad. Okay, cool. Uh, so here's the four shots in the squad on twos rerolling ones. Okay, but I only wound you on fours because you're transhuman. Trans yeah. Right. So here we go looking for that. Uh, yep. Better reroll ones from Valerius. Okay. Three minus threes. Valerius is one to hit and one to wound. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah, 190 um, points of awesome. AP3. Yeah. AP3. Two damage apiece. It hurts us. Ooh. So two will die, including with one wound. Excellent. So you still got another uh, round of fire to save yourself so from. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. I should have shot my small fire first because that was single damage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Smartness. I'm relearning how to shoot guns. Here we go. <laughs> five shots because I moved. I'd get ten shots if I didn't move. Two's to hit. Okay. And then strength five need fours because they're transhuman. Rerolling ones. And you got that many saves. This could kill you if you fail them all. AP. Minus one only. Okay, so I need fours. And these do damage. One. Dang. So one wound. Dang. Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, it, it would have, wouldn't have killed me. He no longer had a wound. Oh, yeah. So he's one wound. So well, I did three damage, so if you failed them all, you would have died. No, he I'm didn't saying. have a wound. I forgot to take the, the marker off. The last time he oh, killed yeah, two yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, 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 right. Three. All. Right, right. Math. That was, just, okay. that was just math. We're, it's a counting game. <laughs> well, the guys are still on the objective. And now I have to think, because uh, we advanced with our heroes. We do have the jet bike that can see you, but I don't know if you're within 24. Oh yeah, cheeky. And unfortunately we have shot you out of range. So that is another mistake. As a, any good general kills the ones less valuable. Now this one's butt might see you. What do you think about that? One model seeing you from his butt? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, I appreciate that. That's okay. I mean, I don't. We got that one. So we got six more shots to try. Should have just said no. It's only AP nothing. Sportsmanship is dead. You'll probably be okay. So here we go. Six shots from a good sport. <laughs> Twos, re-rolling no, I'm ones. the good sport. Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they all hit. I need fours. Ouch. Come on. There we go. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh now you could die. No AP? Yep. Dang it. No, nope. that's, that's how you roll. That's how you roll. <laughs> well, it looks like they're going to be fine today. No way. Yeah, congrats. Didn't expect that. Did not expect that either. All right, so we'll jump over to here, and uh, these Sagittarian will take their best shot at someone. Um, again, they put out more damage than you'd expect. All, this guy reduced damage as well, he said. Yeah, all Dreadnoughts reduce damage, and then he's got a minus one, obviously, through the forest. It's pretty good. Terrain. Um, well, you know, we got a 36 He's also got gun. a feel no pain, which I can bump up if I feel really threatened. I think I'm going to shoot you guys in the building. Okay. That seems like a good bet. Yeah. So, uh, our, our secondary, uh, the beam shot is only 15 inches. Weird, weird range band, but. So I will only be shooting with the bolt volley of 36 inch range. I'll be minus one. Um, and it's gonna be nine shots. Okay. They're not within Valeris's bubble. So here we go. Looking for three. Three. How's it feel to be a normal space? <laughs> Not good. Uh, but we advanced the shot, so better than that. 
Uh, that's it's true. That's all we got. Okay, AP. Yeah. Uh, mine is one. Okay, so I just need it threes up. Hey. One di oh, damage. Two, two piece. Oh. Do I want to save That's one what of we those needed guys? to happen on the other squad. Yep, I need to save my CP to ruin you, so I'm just going to lose Fair. two guys. Fair. Okay. Well, not quite as uh, bloodthirsty as I'd hoped would go. That's okay. There's a lot of game to be had. We're going to move on to bitter, bigger, bigger, better times as we kill this guy. Now, we better kill this guy or we're not going to get our uh, grind them down. So, we're going to go to the assault phase and we're going to try to have Telemon do his. Um, it was like a seven, maybe it's an eight inch charge now. Why would it be eight now? I think it was only seven, right? It was only seven. Oh, but, but you gotta of, go around. Kinda in the way there. Okay, so probably like an eight. Maybe it's you, better just charge them first. You wanna measure it? Or you wanna charge your guys first? The lazy guy in me said I just wanna charge. But... Ah, I think a seven's probably still Qu fine. Question though, can his base fit through there without touching the forest? Oh, hmm. Probably not. Just just check it here, I got your, I got your, uh, your point. Me, me. Probably not. Oh. <laughs> so you're gonna take a minus two, brother. Oof. Yeah, I know. Running dreadnoughts. There's all sorts of terrain and, yeah, and I, moving. I, I placed this terrain. What was I thinking? Right. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Oof. So you can't. You can't do the uh, ten-inch charge there. Sure. Okay, Why not? You're gonna try charging. Would first? you like to Overwatch? Not against. I didn't think so. Not against that guy. Let's see if you can make a ten. I feel lucky. I don't. I'm gonna reroll it. You spend the command point? Yep. Okay. Ooh, nope. that doesn't look possible. Dude, I'm not rolling good. Okay, so command point down. I envision the double fives. Where is my power? <laughs> You've taken it from me. I'm Are you charging with the bikes? Yeah, I'm charging with the bikes. I am gonna spend a CP on that one, man. Um, Makes sense. Can't not do that. Okay, in Victor Tactical War suit. Good, yeah, subtract the CP. First, we'll do the one that, that, that's awesome. Um, the Incendium Cannon, 2d6, auto hits. Ooh, you know what I forgot though, before we, uh, you, this all matters for what you're doing, but I forgot to shoot his other gun at you there. Oh yeah, you're right. The you're plasma totally gun. Uh, I'm gonna keep that. Yeah. Okay. So you got that number, and I just need a twin plasma projector you for 2d3. Is this over, overcharge or anything like that? or? No, it's just like a flamer. Oh. So I got eight, uh, or no, 2d3, so three, four, five. Nice, okay. And then strength six. A six. So fours. three wounds, minus, minus two. two. So on a five up, he's only one damage though. Yeah. Okay, three damage. Take that. Uh, these guys have a lot of wounds, surprisingly. They're like fragile, but they're not. Three damage, you said? Yeah. So he's got 13 to start out with, so he's down to 10. Okay. Well, Telemon's standing still, but the hopefully the bikes can make it through here. Okay, so eight hits with the Incendium Combustor. And their toughness is what? Six. So these will be fives. God, the Incendium Cannon, rather. No. Oh, that feels good. That feels terrible for me. I only have one wound left on one of these. I get to reroll them all, though. Oh, I'm, really? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. My eyebrows went to the top of my head. Yeah, you're like, really? I'm sorry, folks. I'm probably confusing new players in the game. They're like, what? Uh, um, heavy eight with a twin Iron Hail Stubber. No hits there. Heavy Bolter. Nothing there. This is getting sadder. I might get Grenade launcher for one shot and nothing there. Yay. Wow. We need, a, we need a little luck go our way there. Yeah. It's <laughs> These yeah, dice have been froggy. That's, that's fair. Some spiky bits. All right, here I go. I'm going to try to charge you. Don't suck. Oh, that's what we needed. Oh, man. That's what we needed before. In With authority. Like swimwear. Let's go. With authority. Um, you know what's kind of funny here? Is I can with 12 inches. Look, I gotta move. Do I block you from coming any deeper in here? Oh, you can totally try to. That's do that. That's kind of funny, isn't it? We're gonna play with that. Obviously, we want to touch the objective. Oh god, magnetize. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Magnetize though. That's awesome. Magnetize. All right, so we'll go like that, and we'll do this best. Yeah. Now this guy only has one wound left to be noted, so it's not gonna matter that much. We'll do that because it's cheeky. Okay, so we're in there. I'm worried you're not gonna die, but maybe I'm just too worried. You got about eight that. attacks. Oh, you know what? I'm, you know what would be really smart? Hold on, I'm messing up. I got a 12-inch move, yo. You know what's really smart? It's to tag him, but he has a close combat weapon that'll wreck me. 
Most people don't bring close combat weapons on those guys. Oh. I, I was ready to turn him off, but he'll just destroy me. He'll he'll hurt you for sure. I would love for you to go ahead and tag him after you consolidate. Be dumb. Yeah, you don't have any uh, three-inch heroic uh, opportunities you can pop no, off. No, that's only sanguinary guard that I can do a six-inch heroic now. Okay. Um, and there's no characters within range. Okay. Yeah, because my army, I can spin a command point in heroic. Yeah, you can stuff. just come yeah. in. I don't know. Well, you, you know. can do that with your, with everyone or just the bikes. Uh, with everybody just besides the. Uh, the bikes is the like three CP swooping dive, right? No, they, I can just heroic for one CP. Oh, okay. Of yeah, with anybody. Oh, that's right. The swooping dive is you can charge. Yeah. On your charge. I, I joke as custodies is spend a command point and do anything you want. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I'm gonna hope for the best. I was gonna try to, I was gonna pile into them, uh, but to turn him off, but that seems like a terrible idea yeah. because he has a big scary claw. Yeah. If you equip your guys with pointy bits, no one wants to come come and play. Yeah. It starts AP a lot. Yeah, it's just not doing it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> no. so um, <laughs> and plus he can shoot me in his shooting Eight, phase. He's plus one strength well, and count. attacks it's right just now all bad. within the tech marine. It's just yeah. all bad. It's all bad. Uh, so maybe there is one thing more to consider then before I finalize this charge move is maybe I want to stay within six of Valeris because I'm actually realizing that none of this is going to matter and my Vexilla. I need his bonuses. I need his bonuses. You know what I'm saying? So I actually am going to tip myself to touch my auras. Valeris is way back here, so we'd have to go like this. All right, that makes all the sense. We'll do it like that. Sounds good. I'm glad I remembered that I have characters that offer bonuses. That's how you play this game. All right, so I got eight <laughs> attacks now, uh, but plus two because I'm next to my Vexilla with his special Defensor Vexilla ability. And sixes to hit will turn into additional hits. And you know what else I gotta remember is that when you killed a guy earlier, he would have got to on a four plus fight or shoot when he dies. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Who'd that. I, but he was next to the Vexilla within six. Anything in range that far away? Probably not. Maybe okay. 24 inches. I just remembered now. Okay, okay. But you know, for, for the food for thought. Yeah, I'll see if I can mem uh, remember to remind you we'll that. We'll work together on that. Just like scramblers, we got that's right. First scramblers. Although Teamwork. you didn't help me in the first. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, um, what we got is eight attacks, but then plus two, so ten. Six is turning additional hits. Here we go. Six is explode. Ooh, and we reroll ones because Valeris. So we get an additional hit. Okay. And these are strength six. These are strength six. So we need fours. Four. Uh, your toughness is higher than mine, right? No, six. Oh, dang. Yeah, because otherwise I could get plus one to wound here. Okay, so we need fours re-rolling once. This is a brand new model. I just painted him four days ago. Die! I am so <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, this is why he has to die. He must die now. Excellent rolling that time. AP? Minus not terrible high. I think it's minus two here. But I must find... So the five-up sure. pinball is, is pointless? Uh, it's minus three. Take that. So he's up at yeah, the five-up pinball. Hey, I'll take it. The interceptor lands. Um, and these are two damage apiece? Ooh, I have a natural reroll to wound. Just flip one more of these. There you go. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, so this is potential 18 damage. So I have to save five of these, basically, so I don't die. Yeah. Better okay. not suck. Yeah, better not suck. Uh-oh. Three. So you're dead, right? Sad day. Well, I got a D3 damage you. Wait, no, wait. What's the damage? It's oh, only D3. Okay, so I have minus one damage. So I think I'll live. Yeah, you probably will. Okay. Unless I roll like a god. A golden god. Negative. Ah, oh, it's terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was, <laughs> gosh. What happened? We, we expected this. That was weak sauce. Okay. I'm not within, <laughs> well, he's not even a dreadnought, so he doesn't get the bonus from my tech marine. Dude. Um, <laughs> I was charged, and I think I'm going to spend a, how many CP do I got right now? Seven? I don't know, man. You have to look around. I don't talk when I'm um, streaming. What, I have seven right now, or I have six? I could spend a command point to make him fight at full profile, which... I don't like any of this. I'm hitting on fours right now. Hitting on threes is pretty valuable, because I'll, I'll hurt some people with this. This sucks. <laughs> yeah, so we'll go ahead and spend a CP. And he has four attacks at base, plus one because he was charged. Okay, so hitting on threes. No rerolls. And then I'll wound on twos. Uh, tough of six. You My are plus one to wound. Strength is 14. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Four wounds at minus three. Whew. Okay. Um, so we will be four up saves. Nice. Three damage apiece. 
So one guy dies, one has a wound left. Ooh, it's also <laughs> painful. Um, but we still hold the objective, so we That's will. your objective secure. You're yeah. Right. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we're gonna keep you in combat. Okay. Uh, so yeah. We'll, so we're gonna. This guy dies. Yep. This guy has one wound left, and then I consolidate him. Sounds good. Or wait, you're the one that was fighting. I didn't pile in and consolidate like I was. Uh, so because I've already fought, so that would be uh, not allowed. So I'll just have to suffer the consequences. We're not in combat. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because uh, the order of operations, I could only have done that when I, I was activated, not at the end. Is of that, was that was that your intent? I didn't think about it till now. You know, because you thought I was just going to straight I, die. You should have died. You know, so it just I'll just play it as it is. I'd rather just uh, oh, suffer dude, the consequences. I'm, I'm cheating. He is not a dreadnought. What do you he's, mean? He's totally dead. You had no. You, he's not dead. You only had two I rolled damage terrible. twos. So he's actually down to one. So I could have CP reroll to kill you? Yeah, do you want to try that so you don't die? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay so roll one die. And I'm see. glad we caught that. I'm we're sorry. We got yeah. some mistakes, but it's fine. We're time warping. I'm sorry. We can't play in the past, but okay, we Okay, so he does not reduce damage by half. Yeah, because... And he, if I can just roll one extra damage here, basically not turn, a, turn a one into a two damage right, on a D3. On a three, four, five, or he six. He will die, and I will not have taken that combat. Right. Please! No, please not. Yeah! Yes! Oh. Woo! Why am I a nice guy? Does he explode? Because I don't want to cheat yeah. on on film. That's right. That's how you get banned from that's tournaments. That's called that's called honor, my yes. friend. Okay. So Black Harapa Studios loaded on, with integrity. On a six up. Oh, oh you deserved day. it too. Your bike comes back. Oh, that was lucky days. Chat, where you at? Heretic. Come on, bro. Whoa, Quality whoa. control. I just moved, I just moved it's your, okay. Uh, it's okay. Your, your big guy back a bit, though. Heretic, you got to save me, man. I don't know how to play against these blood angel guys. You know what I'm saying? All right, cool. I will actively try to cheat. Um, and I apologize. I have found this. Um, so he died, <laughs> and I'm so happy that that worked out decently. Okay, now it, I gotta deal with you other ways. It feels better now. <laughs> All right, are we going to, to turn two now? Yes. Let's go to the overhead and consider the points. Now that Woo! Victor. We figured out. We figured it out. All right, cool. So the word is now. Uh, at the end of my turn, I do successfully kill a unit and get grind them yes, down. Yes, correct. Three points. Which almost didn't happen. I have not killed a character. I successfully got domination myself. Yes, you did. So that's that's cool. Points. So that's three points. And then at the start of your turn, you will be on two objectives. Two objectives so will get, get you five. five points on the primary. Yeah. Uh, so I will mark that down now. So you're going to go up five. You're going to go up to seven CP. I'm going to go down to two CP for that last command point reroll. Um, here's your primaries, and then I just go up six points for domination and grind them down. Okay, saucy stuff. And then I'll just turn that to turn two and we're in it. Okay, uh, so first thing before I forget, because I have to play a game and this game is based on points. <laughs> um, I'm going to advance. You can advance and still do an action, right? I thought so, yeah. Okay. I'm going to advance one of the, I don't think they need to. They don't need to, do they? Uh, thanks, Heretic. <laughs> what do you say? He made Tyranid sounds. He said, Om nom nom, let the dice gods be good to George. Om nom nom. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and move this unit back. And, oh. I like when the chat's on my side, Scott. I'm sorry. I understand. It makes me feel better. All right. So they'll move back here. It's, it's one of those home it field is. advantages. Yeah, it, it truly is. <laughs> I'm playing on your turf. Okay, um, and they're going to deploy scramblers in my deployment zone. Ah, yes, the... Uh, oh, the actually, do I want to do that? You know what? No, I... No, I don't. I'm just going to advance them and see if I can go hide them. I can't hide them line of sight blocking, but... They'll just further go back here, maybe block out some Terminators from coming in. And I'm going to drop I, in my Sanguinary Guard. You, now, why couldn't you just play with him? I, I don't understand. I can, but I think it's better to play in your zone right now. Before oh, you're, oh, you're going to do it now. Zone. So I'm just going to hide behind I him. I see. In your deployment zone. I see. And I, I hope they're not sacrificed because Sanguinary Guard are very strong. But we're going to pop them back there. Interesting. And they're going to deploy scramblers. Which definitely turns my motivations around. Right. 
Okay, okay. Very cool. I like what you did there. Okay, and that's the end of the move So now phase, you but... easily have set up for your 10 points by doing the one in your home field. Right, because it's going to be harder for you to come back there unless you dedicate all your Terminators to come and yeah. waste in that. But I can still backtrack and, and take care of that. If I, I, I like the choice of doing the hard parts first, yeah. You ate your veggies before your dessert. That's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Um, we'll see if we can, ooh, I don't think I can knock off wounds from them. No, I can just try to be cheeky with him, which is what I'll do. Okay, um, these guys will go ahead and move up. I can take them off their base and they will hide. Ah, uh, yes. Can I kill two bikes and take the objective without putting my troops on it? Probably. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Uh, just don't get within three to tell him on or he'll heroic you. No, I don't think I can actually do that. Only infantry and bikes. Yeah. Let me make sure I actually move this guy far enough. Okay. How far can your hero move? Uh, 14, and he can uh, auto advance 20, but he can't charge. Okay. Not, uh, yeah, plus six to his advance if he chooses to do it. He's not a Tau captain guy that can actually advance 20 inches. <laughs> if I'm over here, you can still come around with things and shoot my guy, so I need to character protect, which is a sad thing. Yeah, just as a reminder, the biggest thing that could happen next is the Alaris Terminators drop down within six and three, because we have the Vexilla. Okay, so this guy can and, go all the way up to And to be there. noted, your, your guard, if we'll see how it plays out in the end, but the guys that the jumped in the back there for the, the scramblers, they were in a position to maybe punk Valeris and the Vexilla before they even had a chance to use their effectiveness. Because, um, you know, that'd be three CP that I'd, you'd be denying from me for free. I could try to charge them, you and know? I've, I've looked at that. Um, it was an option. Yeah, it's definitely an option. They need an eight on the charge. But 10 points is more important to me right now. I and feel you. You're going to have to come back. And, that's a, and, just and that's a time stamp this moment. Would it, we'll think if it would have mattered in the I end. I can also send the Adverser into him, and maybe that would kill him. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I I'm, mean, ju I'm just curious, you know, if at the end result, if it would have, if, how powerful their abilities are going to be. We could roll it post game and <laughs> see if, if that would have changed things. But that's, right. that's just a character you have there. It's not necessarily um, going to change things. So we'll just move this guy four and stay in the the terrain. Yeah, in my mind is just a guaranteed charge with the Alaris versus a not guaranteed charge with the Alaris. I'm going to give him the, the plus, plus one to hit again. Okay. The Leviathan's going in. I've never seen a close combat Leviathan. It's cool. These troops will slide over. These times will be a changing. I hadn't actually fought one post uh, in, uh, post Forge World update. That's why I was surprised by him actually a little bit. It's a lot cheaper now, and only T7 doesn't hit on twos automatically. Doesn't, yeah, they well, I mean, they they took off you know a lot of points. It it's, all sounds appropriate. I, the T7 annoyed me, but uh, yeah, yeah. It, all, it all is appropriate. But it always annoys that you know the, the person who's running it. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Ah, the assassin's coming in the back. So there's end of the movement phase type scenarios here? Yeah, I think so. I think we've moved everything. We've just kind of shuffled people around. I'm keeping my hero secure for now. Maybe some turn three shenanigans. Oh, I need to move this guy. He's going to come up here and tag this too. Okay, psychic phase. Ooh. The five up invol. because I don't want you to magically kill my librarian. Oh, magic's about to happen. It is about to happen. <laughs> um, I'll go ahead and give the five-up inball on the librarian himself. Okay. It goes off, so he has a five-up inball. And then I'll cast Smite. So yep. your bikes take two. Six of Feel No Pain from there cool rule the Aegis of the Emperor yes <laughs> nothing one dies one takes a wound yep this guy goes moving on to shooting phase 
Uh, we'll do small weapons first. Well, weapons that can fire first, and then we'll move on from there. All right, Death Company Dreadnought. He has a melta gun. He's going to shoot your bikes. He hits. And he wounds. Okay. AP minus four, but you don't care about AP. Four up. Well, I do. <laughs> D6 with the heavy flamer for four. Two wounds at minus one. Okay, threes. Nice. Totally good. Three heavy bolt pistols from those guys over there. And I'm in the terrain? Yeah, so I won't take the minus. Threes for two hits. This is, sorry, from the Assault um, Intercessors behind the Death Company Dreadnought. No wounds. Excellent. We'll do the Heavy Flamer Oops. from the Librarian Dreadnought for three hits. Actually, how many wounds you have left? I need to charge them for sure. I need to charge them for sure. I don't want to kill you. So we'll just do these three because of our dedicated hits. One wound at minus one. You on my bike? Yeah. Okay. For the Emperor. Ouch! One dead. <laughs> we don't like it. He's at two. And then I'm going to use the Hunter Killer Missiles, I think. Well, we're going to wait. Vindicator, onto your... What are these called? The Sagittarians? Sagittarians. And I can draw a line if you agree with my line. Sure. I mean, I did a line. You can do a line. Okay. Yeah, I set them up specifically to... Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yeah. So D6 shots with the big cannon for three. Um, I, now that I'm targeted at 2 CP, I could make myself forced to, to wound. I don't feel great about that, though. Go ahead. Okay. Threes to hit. Two hits. And then twos to wound. Two wounds at minus three. Okay. Sagittarians have a five up, uh, four up because custodes. Ah! Fail one damage. Take six. You killed one. And there's that harder charge range. Four storm bolter shots. Four hits. These toughness five. Yes. The Sagittarians, yes. Three wounds. And it's the assault phase. I mean, sorry, it's the tactical phase, so assault will have minus one AP. Threes. One take, damage. Take one. Okay. Everything from the Furiosa Dreadnought into the Telemann. Nice. Uh, range. So it's uh, the, with this guy? Or that guy? This cool. Guy. Um, so. Your toughness eight, everything's going to be winning you on fives. Yes, yeah, so I don't think there's any Dreadnought goodness to do here. I was just going through all the millions of stratagems I have in my brain real quick. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> all right, cool. Let's see it. Okay, cool. 2d3 shots with the cannon, the Fragstorm. I think it's just called a Fragstorm cannon. It's essentially, you know, the Imperium's largest shotgun for a whopping two hits. And I think these will just be fives. No wounds with that. Heavy we Flamer. like it. For four. These will be fives. One wound at minus one. Wow. I feel good about that. Huh. I'm fine. Yeah. It was it was hopeful to, to nick off one wound. I get scared um, every time, but it's, I'm learning to... Just to relax. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure now if the... Yeah, I think the Averser can shoot you. Yeah, he'll go ahead and shoot his Executioner pistol at them. At the, the Sagittarians. Sagittarians. Okay. Uh, I think Obscuring here is going to block you on this site. Oh, yeah, fair yeah. enough. Um, my brain already went alright, so I only have so much left to shoot you. That's line of sight blocking, so I can't do that. Okay, everything from the Leviathan into the Telamon. How exciting. And that's everything. I'm going to do the missiles too. Ooh, he declared it. Uh, so now that I'm getting shot with a bigger gun, you're still going to be fives to win with the strength seven thing, right? The missiles, I believe, are strength. Those are strength eight. eight. So those will be fours. Uh, I don't think there's anything that matters to do here yet again. So Actually, get... they're strength ten. Oh, yeah. But your other weapons are strength seven, right? That's right. Strength seven and six. Yeah, we're good. Go ahead. Okay. First will be the storm cannon array. So eight shots hitting on twos. And then these will wound on fives. Because you are tough to say, oh, beautiful. I'll uh -oh. take it. 
I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> it's going to be five at minus one. Okay. Uh, so now you're minus one damage though, so I still got a lot. You have 16 wounds, right? 14, I think. Maybe 16. Uh, these are my saves, and their AP is, this is what? Minus one. Okay, so threes. Pass them all like a champion. Of course you do. Yeah. I am uh, 14 wounds. Okay. The Volkite. Hitting on twos. Oh. <laughs> Three misses. And then I'm looking for sixes, but five's a wound. Uh, no problem, Heretic. I, yeah, I already feel like I'm rolling better. Thanks for tuning in, buddy. <laughs> Take a mortal and two saves, no AP. Okay. Mortal. Cool. So mortal, I get a six of fino pain. Ah! Nice. Ooh, ah! Nice. Warp charge. And then now this is a, some sort of save. Oh, no, no, there's no AP, so it's fine. Oh, sick. A melt again. Hits. Doesn't wound. Ooh. Three hunter killer missiles. They all hit. Okay. Threes. AP minus two. Okay. So four up saves. Please fail like one. If you do a favor. Yeah. One. One. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it's like, did you just want to see everything? <laughs> oh! And I'm, I'm going to CP that because, okay, okay. because reasons. Okay, three better, damage. better. Three damage. All right, so three six-ups. Uh, yes. Unyielding Ancient, it's oh not just mortals. Six-ups! Oh, I only take two. two. Down to 12. Beefcake. He's a hero. He is. And a legend. That's All the right. shooting phase. Yeah. Charge phase. All right. Uh, Aversor Assassin into your Sagittarium Guard. So he gets a 3d6 charge. And I think you pulled one, so I'm probably going to need... You're going to need a pretty de decent charge, yeah. Probably a 10. That's not going to do it with a 6, Ooh. so I'll spend a CP. Got 11. That should do it. That should do it. I would hope. I'm cool with it. All right, so there it is. Charging with the Blade Guard veterans into your bike. It's a long charge, but I'm behind cover. All yeah. that good stuff. Yeah. I don't have a measurement right now. It's going to be far. It's going <laughs> to be far. We'll see what we get. No. A uh, four? No? OK. <laughs> the Leviathan into your bike. That Don't roll bad. Five total? Yeah. You that got should it. Make it. Okay, you got yeah. it. Cool. Now, yeah, so oh, once actually, again, you know what? I'm going to just be staying within engagement and six inches of my guy. And yeah. see, here's okay. what's whack That's about good. that counter charge, right? If I could counter charge you, like I could jump over here, go around. It's a big long charge. But if I did do it, I would get to fight before anything. I get to Ooh. fight before you fight. I don't think I would. I don't okay, think do I you want to roll that 12? No. No. <laughs> I don't even think I'd kill you. Okay. But it's fun to know. It is fun to hope. It's always fun to hope. Uh, or to note even, but um, but yes. Uh, so you made it, and now there is chances of overriding. So you do need to choose a little bit reasonably here. Yeah. Um, I doubt I'll kill him, but maybe I. And probably not a slouch. I have three attacks per and hit on twos. And any AP or anything like no. that? No. Well, I only have a four save. Do you do two damage or anything? Uh, no. And your strength five, so you'll wound on fours. And the bike has. Does he still have four attacks? Yes. Well, he's also next to the Vixilla. And you'll wound on fours if you spend a CP? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use the Versor first. And if you want to spend resources, you can. Okay, fair. Um, so, yeah. That's probably the smart choice. Because I, I only would have spent those to kill the Versor, probably. Right. Yeah. Um, so he has six attack space. Now, if you don't kill me here, I'll get to still hold my objective. That's a big deal. This one matters. I make There used to be a rule with him when you... Oh yeah, add two to his attacks characteristics when he makes a charge. Okay, so go. eight attacks, hitting on twos. Sad day. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Missed three, so he's gonna have five hits. Uh, I did not declare what he's using, but I would use the neural gauntlet because you have an invol save anyhow. It's the one that makes the most sense because I get to reroll wounds for this. Okay. Uh, I'm wounding on fives, right? Well, fours because he's gonna be strength four, so I get to reroll these. Three wounds at minus one. That's it. On the Sagittarians, right? Yep. Okay. So I come, I could easily walk away from oh, this. Oh, yeah. Easily. Three ups. Don't suck. All righty. Nice. Okay. That means stuff. Okay. So let's go to this camera. I will not be overriding. You will not be overriding. I can't kill him. 
You can't kill him, ever. This entire <laughs> game, we've declared it. Definitely not right him. now, but I will kill him. Leviathan Dreadnought, he has a base of four attacks. The Siege Claw gives him an additional attack. He got plus one attack for charging, and he's within the tech marine range, so he gets another attack. Seven attacks. Hitting That's on... Awesome. Ooh, you know what? I don't know if he hits on twos. He only hits on threes normally. I don't think the ability from the, the tech marine is for... I'm so not used to that. I'm just, I have twos all day for with range. Guys. I forgot to use Quake Bolts. Oh. Definitely do what's... Oh, no, it's just one to the hit roll. Okay, cool. Oh, no, we're making a range attack, so it's only threes to hit. Forgot to use Quake Bolts. You guys the like weirdest the way that... relic ever. Okay, so threes. Ooh, ooh. Four hits, and then he'll wound on twos. Okay. There That's you AP. go. AP high, right? AP is minus three. Okay. So I still get fives, but then I'm four minimal anyways. Okay. I can do this. Is that me too? Whoop. It was four, yeah. Four total. There we go. So you just need to fail one, please. Ah! Okay. Okay. He explodes. Yes, he does. My guy explodes? Really? No. No, does. but I, on this channel, he does, buddy. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> if Telemann's coming in on my Python, <laughs> uh, yeah. He looks gorgeous. If you guys want a beautifully painted army, hit up Scott at Black Harper Studios, and he will take care of you. Um, that thing looks awesome, and it did a good job. He, not like that other punk, not a dreadnought guy. Not a dreadnought. <laughs> that a meant dreadnought, a lot, dreadnought. actually, right there. It did. Oh, okay. cool. Thanks. Nice. That's Seamus, like next that never happens. Same as winning awards Seamus, around here. You rule, buddy. Thank you. Okay. I think that's it for the assault phase. You get to slap me back with some Sagittarian guard, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I have barely ever fought with these guys. Man, this is fun to play New Army, I gotta say. Right? If you you're get to feeling, do things. If you're feeling stale. You're, you're typically, George, because he's a one-man show, right, is running cameras, running effects, doing all the stuff that getting in here and, and using an army that, that does two or three phases instead of just the melee phase. <laughs> I got a spreadsheet. It's kind of new. Um, here we go. So these guys have three attacks per. Now, we don't get some of the cool stuff that other Marines get, like Bolter Discipline and plus one attack and stuff like that. You hit on twos, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, crying, you're crying to a dry audience right now. Yeah! And we hit see, you. See, no one cares. Look, look, listen to them all. <laughs> uh, strength five, and your toughness, you got to be fours to wound you Toughness or four right now. Oh, toughness four, so I'm threes? Yep. Take that, you fiend. Okay, four up in ball, because he's dodgy. Oh, you rolled bad. Three go through. Nice. They're only single damage, though. Okay, he's fine. I had fun doing it, though. He's got 14 wounds. <laughs> He'll make it. That's crazy. That's, I know it is. It's, just, it's a new rule I made up. Now he's got six total, so he's down to three. Okay. All right. Well, uh, is there anything left to fight out there? Um, no, that's it. I just have a Leviathan sitting out there. Cool. Like a beefcake. He's going to go down. But I scored Dominate. I did another Scramblers. And we are awaiting the... Uh, Sword of Sanguinius to come nice. in and make that epic battle. Cool, I got your domination point marked. Blade of Sanguinius is still in effect, and you only got one more uh, just to deploy scramblers. Okay, so let us see here. The movement phase. Hutchow. All right, bottom of two, Custodes on the move. We got these Sanguinian dudes in the back here. I don't appreciate them being back here. I don't want to let them run loose, but I needed to get my uh, points on the board as my first point of focus. So I th that's what I got to figure out is the output it takes to kill those guys. I think the perfect solution is probably sending the bikes over there. These guys have three up in bones. No, they don't have involves. Really? They have a two-up armor save. That's it. Interesting. They can't transhuman them. They have two wounds each. Interesting. But they deployed scramblers. <laughs> the, the most elite unit in the entire Plenteos Force. Yeah, my Sagittarians could really just turn around and light them up. How many? They, they Two wounds apiece? Two wounds apiece. Top is four. I don't want to overcommit on them. I want you to overcommit. You know? I think you should turn Telemann around, uh, put the bikes back there. Just no, everything. no. Yeah, the, I, this is the turn to punch you in the face, and those guys are a distraction. So I think I'm going to whittle them down and hope for a kill as a bonus. And if I'm careful, I might be able to move these guys. Oh, I'm in combat over there. You're in combat. Can't shoot you that way. I'm going to have to move out of that. So that reduces my output a little bit. 
Uh, Valerius. Now they they they're good at fighting though. They had a quite a number of attacks. They are good at fighting. You're looking at like yeah. 20, I think, attacks, and then AP minus three plus one strength. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make a push here. For sure. And we have the Alaris Terminators ready to do some work. Oh yeah, it's time to do work. Okay, I was like, it's, not, sure it's you time. Keep those in reserve? It's set up real sweet over here. Um, okay, so that is looking at this. I'm looking at this spot over here, friends, and these, these Alaris can use the Vexilla right now to really party. So knowing that I'm about to tango with all these cats for the most part, as much as I want to, um, let's, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna send the bikes over here to, to take this control of this situation. We're gonna go 14 inches. I'm glad I put them where I did. Uh, otherwise I would not so easily be where I need to be. Whew. So we're gonna just- Yeah, they ignore the train. Uh, yep, as they fly over. 14. Okay, right at the edge of that. So. So right to the train. We don't want to get in our way of our Alaris, so we'll just go there. Uh, that feels good and great. I probably can only make it to about there. Um, the Sagittarians, they're going to still work to reduce the uh, the guys in the back there. What are those guys called with the wings? Oh, Sanguinary Guard. Oh, uh, yes. We want them dead. Let's call them dead. If we can get within 15, we can shoot them with more guns. Hey, it turns out we can. Uh, okay, so let's array. Array, array. Oh, I should have, yeah, I should have put them probably more over if I knew I was assaulting this. Yeah, I feel like you could have hit them. Oh yeah, because you could have hit them more. Yeah. Yes, yeah. All good. Yeah, I will, shoot them. Made. I will shoot them. Um, okay, so the Alaris could definitely probably do the best work on the Leviathan, but the Telamon is real geared up to punch him in the face. And it's a cool fight. It is a cool fight. I was hoping it was gonna happen. I just thought I'd get the charge. It's a little too cool not to do. I'm getting worried though about all these different combats. I feel like it's gonna cause me to lose something. The Telamon could probably be a tank, hopefully. What kind of uh, damage, is it flat four damage or flat something? Flat three. Flat three, so I'll turn that into two. I could live through that. How many attacks do you have? He'll have seven if you charge him. Okay, okay. Threes to hit. That's yes. Good. That's good. Um, I think what my best decision here tactically is to uh, continue to nurse my uh, challenger, but yet go fight because he's no coward. Bring and him forth. He's going to go ahead and just turn around and take care of this pesky problem. Oh, come on. <laughs> Your guy's still uh, in a counter-strike position, so we will wait and go kill. Um, and then now... Oh, item of note, by the way. Yes. If I base him in combat when I consolidate in, you cannot... Like, you can take care of models and kill them and then back out of combat, right? But you can't back out of combat still, even with your, your trait, if I base you. Because it's a consolidating move, right? Right. Or a pile-in move That's that fair. does that. So if you're based... So I need to activate can, with him first, basically. So that you can um, well, if, if, you kill, if you kill, if kill a model him, on IT base, yeah. and then it's... Yeah, but... Yeah, um, there, there's there's the good notes. Good that's, notes. That's the way you, you yeah. get around that one warlord trait. That's fair. Stuff does matter there. It's my captor, captain commander ability, yeah. Um, so I still haven't taken care of the assassin in my plans yet. Um, let's make sure that, you know what, I probably need to line, I could have gone after the assassin too. Plus the assassinate's worth assassinate points. Let's put ourselves within 12 of him. Oh, okay. But yet ready to charge. Oh, because you have assassinate, yeah. If you fall back within me, by the way, I get to shoot at you. Okay. As if we're the shooting phase with that little executioner pistol I have. Well, it turns out you now have that option as I choose to fall back. You're gonna fall in back? Yeah, because I'm gonna shoot you with 12 shots. They can fall back and shoot? No. Oh, with This him. guy's gonna shoot oh, you gotcha, 12 gotcha, times. Gotcha. That makes sense. Okay, yeah, so I'll use my sentinel ray and shoot you as if it were the shooting phase. Okay. Um, I fell back into uh, the woods. So it'll be minus one to shoot me. Oh, fair enough. So he'll hit on threes. That mattered. One hit. Good. And then wow, one hit. I can reroll if it's infantry. Ah, don't have to. Minus one AP. Okay. Three up save. Well, I guess I'm in cover, right? So two up? No, that's not light cover, just dense. Oh. I'm good. Doesn't matter. 
Okay, so that works. So now it's a question of where does Valeris hang out? Hey, custodies fell back. I'm just saying. We want to shoot him. Not very custodies. We want to shoot him. Um, okay, so Valeris probably wants to help everybody more so than the captain here. Yeah, so we're going to advance Valeris. Yeah, we don't necessarily need to advance him. He only needs to go to like here. Six is going to still tag everybody for the shooting. But then we got the Alaris coming down. Let's move Vexilla first. So we're going to um, do a little advance with the Vexilla. Here's the dice. I rolled a five, guys. It was great. It was amazing. Um, <laughs> so now we will go up to 11 inches and we want to basically aura off of as many guys as we can which is pretty oh that's the uh, that's the other guy that needs to go there right so 11 inches this is where i need my cheat sticks to be three inches outside of you as i try to come in six with my homie so who is the person i want to kill most i think i want to kill the librarian the most okay yeah and uh yeah, that simply means coming over here. So, and six terminators go here. Yeah, so I can go within six all day. Now this guy also gives me a bunch of exploding hits in combat and he's already doing just a fine job, a fine job. I'm right here. All right, cool. <laughs> feels good, feels perfect. We're advancing the Vexilla. He gets a four on the table. And he's going to take off to this corner. Or, I'm sorry, the. Uh, I did it. Yeah, I did it correctly. Okay, but Valeris is what I meant. Words. He goes to this corner. And he gives his aura basically to everybody around here, which feels good. Okay, I feel like I did the, a, a good job. I'm patting myself on the back right now. Yeah, um, it looks like a great position, especially if you're about to drop in that brick, which I is think very scary. so. Yeah, the brick is coming. Six Alaris Terminators jump down from the sky. We're going to pop Valeris's once per game, use a stratagem for free. Okay. So we'll do the Vexilla teleport for free now, a three command point stratagem. Land within six, but outside of three of any enemy models. And we're going to basically prepare to have a good time. As the orcs would say, have a no good time. I was going to say, and the blood angels wear, like, <laughs> have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Things could still go in my favor. That's true. There's a lot of, um, well, you're only going to go override once. So. Right. I mean, that's a brick of, what, 400 points right there? 500 points? Uh, expensive. Yeah. Expensive. I think there's, there's 75 points a piece, I think. Yeah. Uh, that's delicious. Now, they do have a whole bunch of shooting if I want to. I can mm -hmm. double their shots, or I could do the Den of the Lions, and now it's only at the beginning of your movement phase, so next turn they could turn okay, into individual break up units. into a bunch of people? Yeah. They don't uh, get the do they get the character keyboard? No. Oh. That'd, say, be that'd be amazing. Well, that'd be amazing. Ish, right? If someone took assassinate, that'd be terrible. <laughs> uh, I don't think I gave myself a command point at the start of the turn, so I'm at three. Okay. Um, sad about the internet. At least give me music in my ears. Sadness. Sadness. <laughs> Is it back on stream though? Uh, we are recording and this will, this will all be still a successful bat rep. Ah, okay. Uh, but they're not getting to watch it live, sadly. Oh, that is sad. Yeah. They only got to watch until they did. See the other half on Patreon. Just kidding. <laughs> that's, that's nice. <laughs> okay, anyways, uh, I do appreciate you, though, if you want to think about that. Um, like Seamus did. That was awesome. Too bad Seamus can't hear my shout out. In the back end, because I'm sure he's a diehard fan. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to put music in my ear. Here we go with the shooting phase. All right, so. Let's start out with trying to have our uh, shield captain biker shoot the assassin. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Is he minus one to hit or anything? No, he's not. He just always has a four pinball. Okay. Twelve shots. You know, I should be okay here. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's that's his rules. Yeah, I think you're totally correct. If he didn't have rules like that, it's like why? 
<laughs> What's the point? Yeah, no, his whole thing is charge in, try to kill a, a horde, and or take a, people and off be a, a problem. Yeah. With yeah. custodians, it's just you deny any there's any hordes or easy things to kill. So right. So here we go. Uh, are you toughness three or four? Four. Okay. Twos. Rerolling ones because I am a captain. And then strength four need fours. We rolled mediocre. Yeah, it is mediocre. I like it. There oh, you man. go. Damage on these? Uh, just one. Ooh, he's two. good. So he has what? One left. One left. Okay. One left. We can deal with that. So it looks like Telemon's up next, and he's got a friend he needs to kill. Uh, let's go to Telemon. So he's going to do his plasma, uh, twin plasma projector, uh, okay. the flamer shot. He's going to put, now that is something he could hit someone else with. But now we'll hit the, uh, we'll hit the Leviathan with it, because why not? Okay. Strength six, is this guy, what's this guy's t uh, toughness, the Contemptor? Seven. Seven, so that wouldn't matter. Librarian Dreadnought, he's just oh, a cool, cool Contemptor model. Gotcha. Yeah, so there's no difference, so we'll just do it here. And then the, uh, we got to kill that other guy. The, we'll put the Spiculus Bolt Launcher, a five shot, strength five minus one, one damage. We'll put that into the Assassin. Okay. And the strength seven shot, we'll go ahead and put into the, um, is he targetable with guns? We I have think to, he has more than nine to, wounds, right? Maybe he only has nine wounds. He has nine, um, but, but he's, he's, but he's still closer. He's within three inches of this. This unit, yeah. But still closer to Telemon, though, right? But not closer to this. Oh, yeah. good call. So he's not targetable. No. Okay. Well, that changes things. Oh, but he's tough as seven now. Yeah. So that feels better. So, yeah, we'll shoot him with our strength seven weapon. We'll shoot him um, with the uh, flamer. And the other guys will shoot with the five shots. So let's see if we can kill that assassin with these five shots. Okay. Please die. All right, so we're twos to hit, and we're rerolling ones from Valeris. Oops. Hold on. You're threes to hit. Why? To the forest. Thank you. Doesn't matter, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> three only ones. No. Oh. All right. And strike five. Need threes. Ooh. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh! Uh, do you want to see B-Reroll? For his life. No, because he just won't. Because you have other shooting out there that you can dedicate towards him, right? Um, not much. I'm sure I could pop shot him I've with I've got, something. like, what, four CP? I'd have to check. It's a pretty big, I would do it because I'm bold. <laughs> but I might need that. Seat. Yeah, I hear you. You're thinking strategically. I have you at seven right now. Seven? Oh, no, I'm probably at five. I, I spent two last round that you probably okay. not work. Okay. Um, no, we're just going to uh, let what? him die. So on a four up, he explodes. Ooh. He does not. Oh, they're good for me. Well, that worked out okay. I got lucky there. Kabow, he does explode on this channel. Ha -ha. That's right. Um, <laughs> cool. So that went down. Let us now shoot the rest of our shots into the beautiful Leviathan. Okay. Sad day. First, the 2D3 flamers. Six shots. Oh, man. You'd love to see it. But it's only strength six. Okay, so five. Hey. Three. Yep. Eight. Minus two. Single damage. Okay. On a five. Up. Oh, this is not four, up, brother. Okay. He's fine. cool. And then the bigger shots. There's four of them. Twos. Strength seven. Eight fours. Only one. One. Uh, minus lost. three. Two damage. Five up and ball. No. Two damage. One damage. One damage. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. That's good. Um, that is that. And now we go to our. Uh, custodians, uh, the Alaris. 450 points, yeah. 450 right. points. So yes. they should be able to do work, is what you're saying. Yes, they have three CP at their disposal. Um, we have we have the launch, the grenade launchers, and we have the axes. And I could be shooting strength four, two damage shots in rapid fire range times two. Um, but the only target I really have, I need to kill those guys. Let's take care of those guys. Maybe it's time to shoot them first with the bikes, actually. Let's jump over to this camera and get take, uh, take care of this mission that we have. Okay. And what are they shooting them with? Didn't I have Sagittarian here? Oh, where'd they go? There's a Sagittarium right there. Did you pull them up? And I somehow picked them up because I, I don't know why I did that. I must have treated them as Terminators or something. 
That makes no sense. They were you, right you did because you still have Terminators back here. Oh, weird. <laughs> is, this gray, is this gray guy Terminator? Yes. Okay. That was funky. I got too excited with all my plans. It's hard being, uh, it's hard being me sometimes, guys. All right, so I'm um, going to do this. I'm going to, you know, play like I'm supposed to. There we go. And there we go. All right, happy days. Happy days. Things resolved. Things are fixed. Okay, cool. So I was like, I swore I lined up shots for those guys. Uh, so here... Now he is dead. No. There were, oh, there was three. There's there three. was. I haven't touched them yet. Yep, that's true. Okay. You lined them up to suit at the secondary guard. Oh, I feel better. I was like, I had a plan. Surely it wasn't just him. Uh, okay, so these guys, that's two, four, six wounds. I have a bunch of shots, but they're AP nothing. You're going to be three up saves and a minus one to shoot you through this. Um, it's only going to be minus one for these two guys. Because he's inside He's there. inside of it. Fair. Uh, well, I would be upset if he didn't die, and these are the best place for these guns to go. Even though I could shoot him, them, you but could. this is where the problem's at. I'm putting all three. I'm putting all my shots there. It's got to be overkill. What's the range of your grenade launchers? Um, for the these guys, yeah. the Terminators, uh, it's probably decent. The, it's range 12, only 12. Oh, so it only has a target to them. Okay, good. How's the uh, range to those guys? I, only that guy can see him, but two guys can see him. Two em. guys can see him. Um, they've got them. Yeah, screw it. Though. We'll, we'll, we'll shoot the bikes. We're going to put all 36 bike shots into, 36 those, bike shots into there? those three guys. Yeah, 12 shots of bike in rapid fire range. They're hurricane wow. bolters that are rapid fire six. So you get within 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 12 shots. Um, or, yeah. And they, so they're wounding on fours anyhow, though, right? Yeah, strength four, okay, only I don't, I don't need a transhuman or do anything. Good. Cool. So I'll just do the first 12 that don't need minus one. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, twos. Uh, we don't, we do have Valeris' help because I set that up like a smart person. And then um, fours, or T5, fours, right? T4? T4. Yeah. So rerolling once from Valeris. Okay, got one conversion. And I'll go ahead and roll these now because I got 12 dice in Yep. Those are good. Uh huh. <laughs> this is only the first bike, don't worry. Um, five, six, 12, and. There you go. You hooked me up with my 24 shots. That was easy. Okay, twos. Oh, no, no, threes. Threes. You're rolling ones. Let me get rid of those twos for you. Thank you. Okay, I'll scoot these. And now fours. we're fours, yeah. Hopefully this goes okay. Hopefully it does. Ooh, that was bad. That was so good. <laughs> that was way above average. That was way above average. Uh, there you go, that many saves. Oh, man. Hopefully okay. that works out. Need six of them to go through. Ooh, one, two, three. Yeah, not not good enough. Not six. Okay, but luckily there's more. Um, okay, so those pick up toughness three low armor save guys way easier than Primaris Marines, as you would hope. Because I'll pick up a squad of twenty guys that are toughness three AP six. Oh, you know, well, armor sure, five, yeah. So, you know, I was like, get, get wounds right. on three other yeah, horde clearers for sure. Yeah. Um, but those guys stand tall, uh, so we will go to the Alaris that are over there now. And how many Alaris do you think can see those guys that are within 12? You might help me figure uh, that two. out. Just two? Okay. So, great. So, two of them will... Yeah, just two. Uh, that one's not in range, so just one. Okay. Oh, no, there's, you got a guy over here, too. Yeah. Okay. So, two, two guys that will shoot their grenade launcher at you. Um... Those are still just single damage. Those are blasts. There's only one guy. Should have shot them. Uh, did, no, you're well, still. Blast only, wouldn't matter. Yeah, yeah, you're only squad of five. Okay, cool. But -ba -ba do we haven't shot Telemon yet? Yeah. Uh, the other part of their gun is just strength four minus one two damage. So why not? We're just gonna go ahead and put all the. Um, oh, but this guy could shoot. Okay, so we're gonna do three guys shooting their axes at those dudes. Okay. Two of them will be in rapid fire range. Okay. So they'll get two shots plus one. So we'll do that. And then the remainder of the shots is going to be split. We'll do their grenade launchers at them as well. That's two grenade launchers that can target you. Yep. Um, so that that pool. And then the rest of the shots will all go into these guys not targetable. It just literally has to shoot the Leviathan or these guys here. Correct. So the Leviathan is just a worthless target, I feel like. 
But we will try. No, those are single damage. We could get. Yeah, your only toughness is seven, and we reroll ones to wound. They're two damage a piece, but you reduce it by one, so it just feels worthless. So we're going to target these guys. Okay. Um, uh, the guys on the hill, and yeah, we'll just do that in a minute. So first, let's shoot the guys that are on the objective. Here's the 2D3 shots from the grenade launchers. It's going to be four shots. We're going to be looking for shooting you through woods here. So minus one, threes to hit, rerolling ones. And two fails, and then the three shots that are strength four need fours. Three saves Ooh. at minus three. Single damage. Minus three? Yeah. Oh, man. Minus two. Oh, minus three. Single damage, though. Yeah. Okay, uh, so these are just six ups. No. So they die. they die. Got it. Got the job uh, done. I have a note. This guy back here, this, this Terminator, uh -huh. I cannot see them. Okay. Thank you for the note. So um, that was the, that also was three of my um, three of six rapid fire weapons. Uh, so that means that the other two rapid fire guns will shoot here, but they're only, uh, they're not in rapid fire range. So it's just two shots. And that means their grenades would have to go there because there's, there's oh, yeah, only yeah. 12 That's inches. Yep. Yeah. So um, we get reroll ones and we get two hits, strength four, two wounds on these guys, minus one. So with a cover, because we're treating as light cover, yep, right? Yep. Three ups. Good. You're good. Okay, cool. And then the um, we did two grenades before. So one, two, three, four grenades into the Leviathan. Uh, Rerolling ones. Okay. And then now we need fives. Rerolling ones. Nice, Valeris. Woo! Three saves that are minus three, but only single damage. Five up and ball. Hey! Oh! Spiky game. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Need to build a force field onto him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Kool Aid man. Uh, looks like the we're moving on the Telemon because uh, Terminators are done. Uh, all the bikes have shot. The Telemon has already shot. Did he shoot? Yes. Yeah, he did shoot. You're Killed right. the assassin. I'm sorry. You're right. I made saves. It was we're, a great day. We're going to the uh, Sagittarians then, that are on my objective over there. Yep. Shooting there. Sounds good. Uh, they will be minus one, so I'm going to shoot with both their profiles. Okay. All right. So. Looking for threes, uh, but we are within six of Valeris because we're smart. Should be anyways in this corner. Oh, man, yeah. I could have set it up. I accidentally picked the models maybe, up. Maybe I should have killed Valeris. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So here we go with um, we're minus one, but rerolling one. So we're threes to hit. We got three shots apiece. <laughs> here we go. But custodies are so deceptive. They're like, I have only two models. So I only get 47 attacks. Right. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it'll have to do. <laughs> And strength five. Uh, we're going ones from Valeris. That many minus ones, two damage a piece. Minus ones, is it three ups? Okay. Please don't die. Ooh. Two will die. Okay. Unless I want to save one, you have no other shooting. I have three right? other shots still coming that are but three damage three a pop. Three damage a pop. Mm -hmm. And the AP on that? Minus three. So that could just straight up kill them though. But, you, I mean, you have to hit and you have to wound. And then you're a three-up and wound, so. I don't have an involved. Oh. Well, yeah. Okay. I just have a two-up save. Okay. Um, and then you're still going to get charged after this. Furnace. I am still going to get charged. But they could interrupt, potentially. I just don't know where. It's all bad. It's all dangerous. It's all bad and dangerous. Um, no, I guess we'll just take it. I'll save my command points for. Okay. So, so three perish? Is that what two, I hear? Two, two perish. All right. So now the three final shots. We only hit twice, and we're looking to wound. Uh, we wound you with strength five. Oof. Minus three. I Ooh, saved one. Three damage. One dies heroically. Okay, that whittled them down at least, no matter what. Okay, so good job, Sagittarian. Those guys are good. Very oh, yeah, Sagittarian yeah. are amazing. For 150 points, what a steal. Um, okay. 50 points a pop. That's crazy. If you're not a painter, uh, <laughs> if you're not a painter, this is definitely an army for you. Yeah. I mean, and if you roll bad, this can help mitigate oh, a lot strict. of bad mitigate. rolls. Because yeah. two's re-rolling, you feel the, pretty good. There is a, a, you can have confidence in knowing that you're probably going to do what you're aiming to do. I, Mike rolls terribly. My uh, guy on the channel all the time, I swear he should play this army. Um, right. Yeah. <laughs> this is an army for him. Uh, okay. So now... The shooting, I believe, is complete. Yes. We are ready for our favorite phase. And that is the charge phase. That is our favorite phase. Yes. Uh, so we will. There's going to be Overwatch potential here. I don't feel like I'm worried about it from Telemon. 
Let's start with uh, over, uh, charging the bikes into the Dreadnought. Okay. Do you want to Overwatch? He has a heavy flamer, and he also has a melta gun. Um, nah. Okay. Here's the charge. We're going to make it with a six. And then uh, the, I, it, you think a three-inch charge is, like, not failable. I have a strategy to do a 3D6 charge with those Alaris right now because of my Dread Host. <laughs> it seems silly, right? That's a stratagem for no reason. They can make the charge. Three surely. Six. Wow. Well, it's three D six. Pick the two highest. Gotcha. But still, it's still, pretty cool. That's still pretty cool. It's a whole reason to take the dread host. Yeah, yeah. In case Vexilla dies, now you got this like backup. You know, it is kind of my thought process. They just sound like pirates. <laughs> it's a dread host. Yeah, I know. Arrgh, and the Alaris. <laughs> <laughs> I love making up their accents. I have no idea. Um, okay, so. <laughs> I was going to say, Scottish pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, interesting. <laughs> choices, choices. Right. Yeah, they could just sit there, though. I could go into both these guys. I'm just wondering what the, if that's worth it to me. Don't know. <sighs> Seems kind of like a good good insurance policy for him going, because if I tell him I doesn't take him down, then I could smack him again with the Terminators. True, true. You know? Uh, plus the Terminators are obsec, and if I don't kill him and I don't touch the objective, then I don't get the objective, and I don't deny the objective. Telemon's obsec, is he? No, Dreadnought, oh. Dreadnoughts don't get it. Okay. So I think that my better play, I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm going to be bold, and I'm going to charge both of them. Okay. Would you like to Overwatch with this guy? Oh no, he hasn't shot, he's not engaged yet. First, Telemon will charge him to take up his Overwatch. Okay, so that's the question, do I want to Overwatch with the all the shots that are coming in him and maybe plink off one or two damage, right? Right. Because he's toughness eight. And I could potentially do a mortal, maybe. Four up and vuln, six up, feel no pain. Yeah, it is. And I have five CP. The last time you tried to overwatch me, it did not go good. It did not go good at all. And yeah, that was with you, a flamer. I think you missed all of them, yeah. I did miss every single, <laughs> every single flamer shot. Did not wound. Um, You've only taken three damage so far? Two. You've taken two damage so far. There's three more battle rounds left. I'm going to save it. I always tend to ransack my command points, and then I, I regret it later on. So yeah, go ahead and charge and make your half-inch charge there. Sweet. Well, one dice, because I'm awesome. <laughs> and I'm feeling confident. I'm just going to go right here. OK, and now we will charge the Alaris. And uh, same situation. Did you did you want to Overwatch with this guy at all? Uh, the Alaris are toughness five, and they have four wounds each, right? Yes. I do have a heavy flamer on him, which is auto hits, but it's an entire point to do that to cause potential wounds to you. Um, no, I will not. Okay. I'm just reminding myself again that I'm next to the Vexilla, and if I die within six inches, I can fight when I die. Okay. Uh, on a four up. On a four up. So uh, right. here comes the Terminators. They do not roll less than a three. So that's pretty awesome. The second time I ever got to do this uh, teleporting it's strike. It's awesome. It works every time. As a I've person, never seen it fail. As a person who loves to charge from deep strike, this feels good. I've never seen it fail just because it's so hard to get rid of the Vexilla. Yeah. And then, and then not take that advantage of deploying in like that. Right. It feels right. It feels good. OK, so let's work on this. What's the damage of their weapons? Uh, Probably D3 might each. Might be up right there. I think it's two or three damage. These are considered Vexilla Prapers? These are the uh, I, Alaris Custodians. Oh. Elite slot. That's right, for all the points. Oops. Yeah, damage D3. Okay. Uh, so there's that. And then next, we will charge your fellows in the back. Yep, makes sense. With our champion. The one who fears not your challenge, but goes the other way from the challenger. <laughs> because you've given him reasons. hi -ya! Okay. Okay. Um, so, do we want to charge our characters into anything? I don't want to let you crump the Fexilla. 
Even though every attack you don't dedicate into something else is dangerous at this point. Valerius dying, he's done his good deed. Um, but his, I think these buffs are too nice to just let die too easily. I, I'm not going to charge him with them. Even though these guys have like three abend molds, you know? They do. Yeah, those characters are BP. Valerius is not going to fear you. He will charge you. Okay, who are you charging? Uh, the Leviathan. Oh. Simply because there's a gap and I'm decently close. If it fits. Ah! Six is probably not far enough. Uh, I would think it is, actually. That doesn't seem too crazy. I'm a little over six for sure. I'm like uh, seven okay. inches away because I'm this guy in the corner. Yeah. Um, I don't think I have a natural reroll or anything. We're just going to let that. That was just a little bit of extra sauce because it looked cool. Um, you still got an army chilling behind this wall, but I'm going to ignore that fact for now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as deadly as the army you're already engaged with. Yeah, everything's pretty good right now. Okay, so um, here we go. Uh, the first place to fight is a question right now. Yeah, there's all sorts of weird places I can interrupt, and I got to figure out what's most important for me. How many attacks over here? Four? They're going to have four piece, so it's eight attacks. And single damage or two damage? They're two damage piece. Actually, sorry, they're D3. D3 on eight attacks. Two's to hit. Three's to hit. Uh, but strength? Their strength's going to be five. So it'll be five's to wound. But Four's plus, to wound. But plus one to wound. Four is to wound. I got a three up end vault. I'm not worried about over there. I'm going to live through that. There's no doubt. There is no doubt. So I think the scariest place is the Leviathan, honestly. Um, and then I think I'm going to be okay on the... Uh, I think these bikers here are going to be okay. They're at least going to like have somebody steal the objective. Determine, not the Terminators first. They're the backup plan. I think it's Telemon. I don't know. Oof. One more look around. Um, the Terminators just are going to just, they're just there to tank it. I mean, uh, they, they can get plus one of Rune on. They could kill right Terminators now. have a three up in ball? Uh, no. They have a four up. Okay. Yeah, they have four up. Two up, four up. Um, plus they have four wounds, so that means if you get two three damage attacks through me, I'm only picking up one mod. Right, yeah. Which is pretty huge. sweet, yeah. Um, Telemon dying before he swings would hurt my, my soul, and it could happen. So I, it would hurt my soul. I think that's what I gotta you don't, do. You don't wanna hurt your soul. I don't. I, you wanna reach right down to the bottom of it. Exactly. <laughs> we're going down to Georgia, uh, okay. and we're going to hit this guy right now. Telemon's activating. Leviathan's going to make all the saves. All right, next combat. Yeah. I'm going to interrupt. For we the just, We can just narrate this, right? No, this is no, this is happening. <laughs> no, we can't narrate this. Ooh, uh, yeah, I upgraded him with the Eternal Pentinent. I paid a command point for this. That gives him an extra attack and oh, reroll charges. Good. So, uh, okay, so oh, he... Maybe the Penitent Dreadnought will pass. His weapon gives him an additional attack as well. So we're going to have seven attacks here. Two, four, six, and seven. We're going to be twos to hit, rerolling ones from Valeris. And it's going to hurt. I think that's it. Here we go. Ah! Rerolling ones. I hate how your guys give you reroll ones on your dreadnoughts. <laughs> we are custodes. And then now we will be strength very high. We are strength 16, so twos. 16 is not going to be. Yes, it is going to be. Valeris says oh, reroll ones. That Oh, I forgot the sixes on the. Uh, oh, one that's I get. Sixes to wound. Yeah, yeah, I forgot oh. the sixes to hit. I don't okay. know if I rolled any sixes. Okay. Um, but I did. I do get one extra attack from my Vexilla banner. Feel me? Oh, okay, yeah. From my Dread Household, which Ouch. again, sixes to wound, but still. So I didn't get any exploding hits because I forgot, and I probably didn't roll sixes anyways, but that many wounds do go through, and they are minus three, four damage a pop. Four damage a pop? Which will be three for you. Five I don't up, think you're making it. Five up in Oh, he's gone in a big way, surely. Yeah. I didn't math it, but I bet. Six times three, that's 18. Kapow! That's 18. <laughs> Does not have a field of pain. I can only get it down to 15, so yeah. <laughs> the explosion's been done. I hope he explodes. <laughs> I really do. Oh, oh not a six or not it, a... Uh, it used to explode on fives, I yeah, think, but, like a, now, but yeah. it's, now it's just sixes. That's too bad. Dang. Wow, everything went just right for me there. Okay, I'm very relieved. I'm interrupting. Consolidating. Uh, so where would you like to interrupt? My librarian. Dreadnought. Excellent. Excellent. 
That was awesome. That was crazy. I'm so sad that <laughs> Telemann, I mean, that's, he is the stronger of the two dreadnoughts. I think that was the right choice, especially after what happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so sad. Dang, he was really jacked up though, huh? Yeah. That like, extra uh, extra attack did not feel oh bad. Oh my God, no one likes you right that now. That was both the dread host and his uh, CP upgrade. <laughs> okay. okay, four attacks base. He was charged. He's next to a tech marine. Okay. We're not in round three yet, right? Right. Okay. So he's just got the six. I no longer have the cool stratagem of just adding D3 attacks to a character. I wish. <laughs> okay. So he's going to hit on threes. Yeah. Obviously into your terminators. Um, do I want to re-roll one of those? I have five command points. I do. Okay. Dang it. Dang, too bad you don't hit on twos like me. Wounding on twos. <laughs> yeah, too bad. Three or four wounds at minus three. Okay, putting you down to four command points, and here's my saves. Minus three into the Terminators will be on our... Oh, no. What? It's all the same, but I didn't realize only one attack can come from the Force Halberd. That's a new thing. So all these nice weapons, or all these attacks aren't by a nice weapon? Is what um, you're telling me? So if I roll a d6, you can have the you can have at least one go off on your well, nice weapon. On a, I had I had seven attack or six oh. attacks rather. So on a one and two, it's not these. Okay, it is one of those. So one of those wounds. Okay. Um, it is. Yeah, it'll still wound on a two because of my my strength the plus one wound. So okay. that one does more damage, and that's why that's important. Okay, so this one that does more damage, I save it. Okay, cool. And then the rest fail two. So one dies. Three damage each. Okay, great. So one bites it, and on a four I, up... He only gets one attack with the halberd? On a four up, he fights when he dies. Oh, because gosh. of the Godzilla. He fights when he dies, man. I no longer like this engagement. I feel smart. Um, we're going over to this guy and fighting before I pull him. Um, so he'll, as he fights like it's the fight phase, uh, he needs to be on the objective, actually. So it's going to end up being this guy. Um, and he will get four attacks plus one from the Vexilla for the Dreadhost Warlord trait. And that's it. Like sixes explode to hit. Okay. And we get one extra hit. We're twos to hit, rerolling ones. These all go through. And now the Castellan Axe, strength eight here, strength ten, strength eight. So three. Rerolling ones. Not that good. This is just one guy? Yep. And this is the, into the uh, Labyrinth? Yes, minus two. Okay, he's got a five up involved currently. Okay, just D3. Take three. Take two, because it goes down, and okay. he has a feel no pain. Take one. Okay. That was harder. Down eight. Okay. And now I'll resolve. We're going to come over here to actually activate, because your override's done, so I fight everywhere else now, right? Correct. So uh, we want to make sure... We do, oh God, oh, you gotta hate it when you do that. Okay, so, oh, we're already getting the objective. So we don't necessarily need to be on the objective, but we're gonna go like this anyways. He's gonna go this way, go this way. He's already there. Half, there we go. So now he's within a half inch of a model within a half inch. And all five will fight. Getting four attacks per, being 20 attacks plus the Vexilla, so 24 attacks. There's five guys, so 25 attacks. Whew, 25 attacks at strength eight. With exploding sixes. With exploding sixes. It's going to take a miracle to come back from this. All the, all my punch to take down the Telemon is crazy. It's almost gone. This has been wild for me. Dude, I'm not used to any of this, and it feels awesome. <laughs> the really, six, six really not happy for you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sixes explode. I need my thematic army. A black carapace would get this done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Once that's here, I'm yeah. going to run through that. Hey, yeah. They all hit. Okay. 25 hits. Uh, plus a couple extras because of the sixes. Yeah. So now we're rolling a wound. Yeah. And we're threes, right? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Is the uh, strat to give me plus one to wound, but we won't do it. I don't, I don't think we need it. I don't think you need Threes. it. Threes. But we could. And I want you to remember that. Rerolling ones from Valeris, because I'm awesome. Look at all these Are twos. Are you close enough to Valeris? Uh, not anymore, I guess. Okay. Yeah, not anymore. So I'm going to take three of these hits out anyways. Because you rerolled three? I rerolled like three times, okay. yeah. 
So we're just going to pull three dice. Okay. And the twos don't hit anyways. Let's do this correctly. We're going to pull three dice and then the twos don't hit. There we go. That many wounds. Ouch. And these are all my five up involved because thankfully I gave myself an involve. Holy cow. Ooh, that hurts. I only gone. saved three. He's going to die on just single damage. These are all D3 damage? Yeah. <laughs> three, six. Hold on. Let's just, we can just separate. Oh, yeah, because they're, they're three, so minus guess, one, These right? are two each. So two, so six, four, six. And then. Those are all singles. <laughs> Nine, 12, 15, and 17. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Get a cow. He doesn't blow up. He does on this channel. <laughs> we loved it. It felt awesome. Can we kill another should dreadnought? Have, should have interrupted with the death company. So let's see how this goes. Because, yeah, these bikes are going to be alive and proud if they can take him down right now. Because right. I, I could just fight on death with a character, and I played that a little bit wrong. Mm. Yeah, all good. All right. Bikes. Uh, four attacks each. Not Vexilla helping, so just straight up normal here. 4, 8, 12, twos, no re-rolls. Strength six, toughness higher than six? Yes, yeah, seven. Okay, so fives. Uh, this would be the place to do the... Let me check my strategy. This is where I would want to do the plus one to wound at. Um, I think it's for anybody. Slayer of Nightmares. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend two command points to be plus one to wound here. Plus one to wound. Okay. But I'll go down to one command point to do that. So instead of fives, I need fours. Ouch. But good thing I did that or I would have gotten a lot less. So a small chance to kill you. Uh, minus three. Minus three to these. So it's yeah. just going to go to a six up. Ooh. D3 um, piece. I'm going to... Do I want to spend... A CP for a six up? No, I can spend a CP to make him a five up feel no pain. Okay. Which I am I'm gonna spend that. Okay. Yeah. It's one or two? One, right? Just one. Yeah. Right. So you get on to three. Alright, so now I'll do my D3 damages here. Yep. Okay, and then you reduce it all by I one. I reduce it by one. Oh, so that's one, nice. two, three, four, and then five, six, and then I get a feel no pain of five up. So I'll take four. Okay, so you're gonna live through that one. I am gonna live through that one. So I'll get to attack you back there at least. Yes. Um, before that happens, we'll do our final combat, which is right here with our oh, hero. I know, our hero versus that jerk on a bike. <laughs> okay, so shield captain on the Don Eagle jet bike, all jacked up with good stuff. He has five attacks base if I recall. And then uh, we got Unstoppable Destroyer in effect here. <laughs> so oh, man. we don't really need to like do any crazy pile in shenanigans oh, here. No, I don't think you need to do anything here yeah. except just swing. I don't think I have any additional attacks that I'm missing. You are at minus one to hit because of um, their death mask ability. Okay. Uh, so then here we go, threes. Two fails, but I can reroll a hit. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm going to use my yeah. uh, blood, games. blood games. Still fail. Worse. And... Uh, sixes don't explode. Yeah, here we go. Threes, right? Yeah. Ouch. That was good. AP? Uh, minus three. D3 damage each. Five ups. Good roll. Oh! Good roll. One lives. Yeah. Right? Because I'm sure it's how much? Uh, it's D3, so you oh, could so live. I could live. You die. He dies. Yeah. Okay. I can't... One left. One left. He's got four attacks. Mm hmm. So on threes. Sad day. Okay. And a wound on threes. Fours, right? Top of six. Some I'm strength five, plus one to wound. Okay, one room. Three up. Okay. One guy lives, though. Yeah, he does. I would pile into you. Wow, do I want to pile into the AC there? Well, first, I consolidate. You, you have it. Oh, but you, oh, I would have, I could have consolidated away before you fought, but I didn't do it. Oh, before. Yeah, because I pile in, I fight, oh. consolidate. So it's a way to hit before your opponent hits you. Yeah, yeah. I didn't fall out of combat, though, because I forgot. Oh, you can but, if you want. I mean, nothing nah, happened to you. It doesn't. Uh, so. I, I, I fight first as the defender, so I'd rather just stay in combat. You know what I mean? Like, as it goes to your turn, if it's ongoing combat. I'm going to pull myself out of combat, though. That's fair. Okay. That's fair. Uh, groovy. So okay. that, that's how that goes. Well, see, it would have worked like this. You yeah, pulled, yeah. You pulled your model out of combat as I killed him. Then you pile in and fight me. 
but you wouldn't but you wouldn't even oh. got to pile in and fight me that's right because you wouldn't have been in combat and you didn't so charge. i'm secondly still in combat yeah since you swung yeah yeah okay. but uh we got that we played it accurately uh you get to fight back with your dreadnought with my dreadnought yeah okay I think he starts with four attacks, and he was charged, so I'll be going up to just five attacks. Okay. Oh, no, he starts with five, sorry. And he goes up to six because he was charged, and he's death company, so he goes up to seven. Yeah, he's mm. actually a beast. Cool. I like it. Okay, so here we go with the Dreadnought getting to fight the bikes. You were about to swing a yes, bunch of attacks, I'm right? Swing oh, no, I already swung back. Um, you you moved the... Dice. Oh, I must have picked him up. How Did many you, were there? Uh, maybe four, maybe more. I think, yeah, I think maybe four attacks. Yeah, so four at minus two. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, so that would be how much damage a piece? Three. Three a piece. So no matter what, I'm still only losing one bike and one has one wound left. Right. So that's not going to be worth it to me to CP reroll. So yeah, there is uh, two bikes left and one has one wound left. Okay. All right, good one, good one. So I did. They did their job, and again, if you don't fall back, they fight first, because of the, being the defender, right? That's true. So I mean, I think that's all pretty good for them. Uh, I couldn't have asked for a better turn, Scott. You couldn't have. Um, if I know, I know George is gonna double um, a recap of uh, most of this, but holy cow! You removed a Leviathan, you removed a Librarian Dreadnought, four Sanguinary Guard, an Assassin. You just might get Killmore. <laughs> um, yeah. Because I didn't kill anything. Yeah, stuff went down, and I, I've really only lost a couple bikes here. Yeah, that's uh, well, four true. bikes total, or three bikes total. Yeah, but not even a squad yet. So not even a squad yet. Craziness. Um, so at the start of your turn, you won't actually get any primary points this turn. Okay. Um, you can heroically intervene with Telamon. Uh, I'll double check. I'm pretty sure it's any custodes, but dreadnoughts might be excluded. I'll have to find out. Okay. Um, but just to get this, uh, we've got to make sure we get our uh, points uh, still going on here. I know it's what is what it is, but I get domination, um, assassinate. How many characters did I just kill? One, two, two. So another uh, that'll be six points on assassinate, and we're gonna get grind them down for that round as well. Correct. So that'll be three for assassinate or six for assassinate, three for domination, three for grind them down. Six, yeah. nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good turn. And at the start of my turn, I was on uh, two objectives, getting five points. Is that right? Correct. Yes. Okay, cool. So we are into turn three. Let me get that all updated here. Six, nine, 10, 11, 12. That goes to 18 plus five, 23 points. And then you're going to be on no objectives so no points there. Uh, we're good. Okay, cool. So yeah, if you get just deploy your scrambles and you're to back, backfill what you're about to do, you're going to get 10 points. How many CP do you have? One? Just one. So you can't interrupt. That's and you're going to go, uh, actually, <laughs> there is a uh, custode stratagem. For just one to interrupt? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's only if you charge me. So after a charging model fights, then I can override with one of my units. Infantry or bikes. Okay. Well, that's sad. Maybe even just infantry. I'll double check those things. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't have internet. Oh yeah, I don't have internet. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's the detail. I have to be within three inches of an objective to do it. So, okay, the so unit I, does? Yeah, so I- Still, that's valuable. So as long as I'm within three of an objective, I can override for one CP. Okay. And can you heroically intervene with that's Telemon. also ACP, so, uh, but not with Dreadnoughts, not with Telemon. Oh, okay, good. He's there, he's there. These guys are gonna come on over, so my Blade Guard vets, and maybe kill a terminator or two <laughs> we'll see what happens with that um he's stuck in combat the question is where do i put my my ch you know what i haven't been doing i have not been doing my oratory stuff for the litanies for the chapel oh yeah um one of them was get a bonus attack on your chap on your the chapel right. himself yep. yeah 
Didn't, yeah, I thought you might have said the you other only, one is reroll all hits. Didn't you say you uh, actually only took one though when you thought you might have took two? I've taken two. I gave him the master sanctity so he can have he has three the base one he comes with and then two more. Gotcha. Um, in this case, yeah, I'm gonna see if he gets angry and he can he can have two of them go off. So I'll do litany of hate, which gives me reroll all hits. Okay. On a three up, goes off, and then the one that makes him angry does not go off. I'm still reading. There is a chance Talamon could heroic if it messes with your life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't I didn't put on my cheat sheet that it had to be only infantry. It's no internet is no bueno. Okay. I'm worried about Telamon after all this. I'm really worried about Telamon, but so be it. That's the <laughs> way it goes. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for my movement phase. Um, do I want to fall back with this guy? I don't have Odes. So I think I am going to fall back and make him hide behind this. So if you want to keep your guy back there, you can. Sure. Because you're just going to get to fight me anyhow. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's movement. So they're going to stay put. They moved up. The blade guard moved up. My chapel moved over to hopefully take care of some terminators. We'll see what happens there. Those are scrambling. Those are going to scramble. So we're going to go ahead and give you 10 points for yep. completing scramblers. And that's why they're staying there. I gained a command point, which is a woohoo. Yep, so and then five, end of my eight. movement phase, I am going to repair the Dreadnought for three. Ooh. So he goes up to seven. I think that puts you at two CP. Repairing doesn't cost anything. Oh, oh, oh cool, right. You just upgraded to make it three instead of D3. Right, yeah. yeah. Sick. So you still have five. So I'm still five. Okay, yeah. good. And I think... That's all I can do for the moment. Now we have to go to no longer a psychic phase, sad day. <laughs> no mortal wounds for me. And we'll go on to the shooting phase. Excellent. Okay. We'll go around the block. Definitely to reference a few things for this. First, I'm gonna shoot quake bolts. Oh my gosh, kept forgetting about quake bolts. <laughs> so I only have to make one shot with a storm bolter that's on his side. Um, if it hits, your terminators, then I get plus one to attack them in melee. Right. It hits on a two. That's the tech marines, right? Yes, so yeah. they are felled. Cool, you and got it. He's going to put all the other attacks into the terminators as well. Reasonable. He's not gonna he's not going to um overcharge his plasma cutter <laughs> uh, because he will just straight up die. So plasma cutter standard. It misses anyhow, see? That's why we don't do that, <laughs> boys and girls. All right. And then he'll go ahead and shoot the flamer for four hits. Toughness on them is five? Yeah. One wound at no minus. I am going to go to the salt doctor, and hopefully that's just known. They're fine. Good to go. Two up save. That's all the shots from him, I believe. Yes. Oh, we are fell. They are felled. Five heavy bolt pistols, oh, sorry, three heavy bolt pistols and a Volkite pistol from the Blade Guard vets. Mm -hmm. So here's the three heavies. Just two hits. He's a wound on fives. One wound at minus two because it's a pistol. All right, you got it. Fail. Just one damage. All right. And then the Neo Volkite pistol is a pistol two. Two hits, and I need those need those sixes for wounding. There's one. Take a mortal and um, a save with AP minus one. You get a six up against the mortal. No, and so I took it. I already marked it down. And then how many others? There's just just one against AP minus one. Okay. Two damage. Oh wow, you killed one. Kill the Terminator and shoot him with pistols. Yeah. It's amazing. You know what? I'm gonna use my last CP to reroll. Oh come on! <laughs> All right, very well. Ha Woo! Uh, Goes to war gaming for the save. For the save. 
My Primaris Chaplain's gonna shoot at the same unit because they just need to die. He's got a pistol, which is really cool, but he's also got a twin bolt rifle, which is cooler, I guess. <laughs> how'd I think, how'd I know? Uh, or I could do crack grenades. No, we'll just shoot the twin bolt rifle. Okay. I don't think he hits on twos. Nope, that's his weapon skill. Wow, oh, three sixes. And this will wound on fives. One wound, AP minus one. Oh, one damage. You got him. Anyone else over there? They can shoot them. Yes, all the pistols from the assault intercessors in the center of the table. And we're going to do one overcharged plasma two into those terminators. So first the four heavy bolters. Two hits, fives to wound, one wound at minus two. There it is. And then an overcharged plasma pistol. It's a <laughs> sad day. Uh, do I want to keep him around? Yes, I do. CP reroll? Yep. For a hit. And of course, a oh, one to wound. At least he didn't die. At least he didn't die. Death Company Dreadnought is going to shoot a melt -a gun into your bikes. It is an assault weapon, so he's not at a minus one for this. Hits. And it wounds. AP minus four. All right. We will take four. I minimal. think you're within melt -a range. Oh, no. Go ahead. Well, he's going to die. Yeah, he's dead. One wound left. <laughs> I think he's gonna die. I just thought you might want to see the power of the strike. <laughs> he's gone. He's gone. He's yeah. gone. Gone. A. Moving over to the Furiosa dreadnought. Two D three. This is all going to your Sagittarium guard. Two D three cannon shots for four hits. Their toughness five, right? Yeah. This is strength seven? It's strength really high, which is, yeah, it's strength seven, so threes. Okay. Four wounds at minus, it's a heavy at minus one. All right, I'll take three up saves. Oof. <laughs> Two damage each. Wow, well, it turns out they're dead then. Holy cow. Yeah, that that's, was a bad roll. That's bad, I wanted to get on that objective. Ooh. That's okay. So the flamer goes off uh, and just torches their corpses. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so the Vindicator's gonna shoot at the Terminators. We'll see if we can plink off the one wound first with a Storm Bolter. Okay. Four hits, and this will be fives to wound. Nice. Three wounds. Maybe I can roll better than a one here. There we go. Oh, they're good. Okay, and then D6 with the big cannon for five. Nice, good rolls. Threes. Ooh. And this will be twos. Two at minus, uh, three at minus three. One save, two saves, so damage. Just one, it's only got one left. He'll take okay. one. Okay. <laughs> Just what was needed. Yep. A giant round chinks his shoulder. Yep. You still have four Terminators left? Yep. If not five, five, right? I I, I've killed some. Yeah, I see four. Like, oh, oh, there he is. The librarian, yeah, 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 and then I killed one in all that shooting. Yep. I just wasn't finding the model. There he is. Yep. Okay. Charges. The tech marine is going to go ahead and charge. The blade guard vets are going to charge, and my chaplain guard. I guess one at a time, though, right? Sure. So tech marine, he'll go ahead and charge your bike. Ooh, I, minus two through the woods too. He's not plus gonna... one though. So am I within two inches of you for a two-inch charge? Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, you're like three inches away. Less than three or more than three? Okay, yeah, more than three. Um, I am not going to re-roll that, I think. That was really slow, uh, that was really sad. I'm Do I want to re-roll that? I mean, you're going to cause some wounds to my dreadnought, but not, you only get six attacks, It was more right? shameful, more than right. anything. <laughs> it's, it mainly that, shameful. it's mainly that he's shamed. <laughs> um, Your honor is, is tarnished. Totally tarnished. That's a sad day for that tech marine. <laughs> he's just like, what, what? He's like, I'm so sad you killed all the dreadnoughts. I trained for this. <laughs> not really. <laughs> he trained on Mars. Yeah, I'm not going to, I have four command points. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do I want to get him in there? Is it necessary to block him? You know what I do? I just don't want him within range of... I'll go, he's targetable and all that other good stuff. I do want to get him in there. Okay. All that decision to finally make it. Thank goodness. I saw that too, I got word for you. Blade guard vets and your terminators, they'll make it graciously. I 
really can't see what's going on over here. So You're doing it. You did a good job. You got it. As long as they're in combat, I'm happy. Everybody's there. And then my chaplain is going to have a minus two. You could have avoided that, though. I can? Yeah. Okay, cool. I really I could see. <laughs> on top of the plant. Oof, he's only got a three. Oh, gosh. Shouldn't have rerolled that. My goodness, did I you know. really just roll? Oh, you know what? He gets three roll charges for free. I was gonna say, yo, are you doing? Oh. Okay, with a four, <laughs> does a four make it? Yeah, just barely. You've demoralized Jeez. all of these guys. Can you drive your motorcycle? Oh, gosh, <laughs> that's what I get for using a, a white scars. Room, okay. room. And now you don't have enough CP to interrupt, right? So I can just Correct. go ahead and swing away. You get to have a good time. Yeah. Okay, that's the hope here to get a little bit of payback and make you work for this kill more this round. Mm -hmm. Okay, Primaris Chaplain. This is going to be difficult to math. Four attacks base. Okay. Plus one for Blood Angels. Plus one for Super Doctrine. Plus one for Imperium Sword. He is not angry this this turn. Okay. But he is because the Canticle of Hate is going off. He does get to. Oh, sorry. No, it's the Litany of Hate. He does get to reroll his melee attacks. Okay. But he'll hit on twos anyhow, just re-rolling ones. Cool. <laughs> Good thing, huh? Okay. So all of them hit. He'll be strength plus two, and then Imperium Storm gives him plus one. So he'll be strength seven, and then plus one to wound. So twos to wound you, I assume? Okay. There you go. Seven wounds at minus three. Okay. Force. Filled. Holy cow. Only one. <laughs> Holy cow. Well, thankfully, oh, he wasn't angry, so damage, oh, damage does goes up, right, because of the, no, it doesn't. That He has to be angry for the, the damage profile to go up, right? Oh, no. Yeah, so it's only damage three. So he doesn't even kill Are one. Are you kidding me? Dude, not good. Seven beastly attacks, Terminators. Wow. Go out to Forge World and spend $400 right now. <laughs> I'm just saying, it seems to be worth it. Okay. You're going to do much better with the Bladesman. That's right, we are. Um, so Blade Guard Vets, they're going to have basically five attacks apiece, and then the Sergeant's going to have six. So there's five. You can do it. I would hope so, considering they're going to hit on twos. You would think... You would think they're going to kill more than, you know, none. <laughs> I'm going to come challenge you now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go out and buy 30 Sanguinary Guard. No. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so these will hit on twos because you're felled, and I get to reroll once. Okay, everything hits. That's at least a good feeling. Their strength is plus one, so they go up to five. Your toughest five? Uh, yes. And I get plus one to wound, so I'll wound you on threes. That's a lot of ones. These are all on your invol. Oh, okay. This should do a good job. I hope. Yeah. We, we hope. Yeah. Oh, that was much better. So two apiece, right? Oh my gosh, yes, so two damages. Dead guy, dead guy. Dead guy. One, two, three dead guys. Four dead guys. They're gone. Yeah, you took care of business. Really? Well, that's good to hear. What's up, Ron? That was at least a good, good turn of events. We killed, but, but. He is within range of the the banner, so we'll have to find out if it's per model or if it's for the entire units. So they went, they went. The tech marine will go ahead and fight. Right now, George is taking care of a customer. Tech marine gets three attacks, plus one in the charge and plus one for being blood angels, and then the servo arm is going to have one of these attacks taken up. So we'll go ahead and do the server arm first. Um, it hits. It'll wound on twos. It doesn't wound. And oh. then for this is with the tech marine. Before you pull your turn, oh, right. we have to see the banner. Oh, because I, right, I can fight when I die, right. right. The question is, is it 
per model like it within is. six, or is it the unit within six? Oh, uh, it's the unit, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's find out. The regular space marine branders are, the model has to, it's just per model. I could easily be wrong here. But we're custodes, you know? That's right. Do the raiment of sorrows. Roll a d6 each time a friendly adept or infantry or biker model. model is destroyed within six. So I think only... So I didn't set that up well, yeah. It's only one guy, maybe, if even. It's still a lot oh, no, of custodies. No, yeah. Yeah, just one guy. Okay. So one guy and a four up. No. Oh. <laughs> I've disgraced them with a 150 point unit. I'll remember that. Tech Marine. Three attacks with the axe. Those all hit. And then the axe is going to be... I'm going to sign Power Axe. He's going to be Strength 6, your Toughness 6 with the bikes? Yes. So that's 4s, down to 3s. Dude, they picked up these Alaris. That was impressive. Two wounds at minus 3. That was only four guys with swords, right? Four guys with swords. That was impressive. I mean, yeah. And the hitting on 2s, re-rolling 1s is nice because they made yeah. everything hit. But they, they are the most point efficient model for Blood Angels, my opinion. I see that, yeah. So this so, is on your bike at minus three. Pass, fail. Pass, fail. That's going to be two damage. All right, so I got two damage, two health left. I'm I still obsec scoring over here. I know, but the, the, the Dreadnought still gets to attack you. Uh, yeah, I'll fight him first, though, right? Right, yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and knock that out since the camera's there. So uh, as the defender, I'll fight the Dreadnought real quick. I'll have him face his foe, or shall I say his death? Nonsense. He's, I don't advance. think I'm going to kill him. He still Does he still have seven wounds? or he's, Seven. He went up. Okay. He's, he's he healed. Him. Not dying here. He'll probably die once Telemans gets his, you know, safe. When he gets his way. Uh, okay. Only that many hits. Strength five. We think we need fives here because your toughness is seven. Yeah. There you go. So only one at yeah. minus three, though? Yeah. Okay. So six up. No. Two damage. D3 damage. Down to one. Yeah. And then he's going to six up. Feel no pain. And and he, he takes it. Okay. So, so you take six. Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, you want to go and fight there since the camera's there? Yeah, he didn't charge, so he's base five, and he didn't get charged. No. Nope. So that's it, just base five. Will I die? Yes. It's bad if I don't. Wounding on twos, re-rolling. Okay. okay, if I live through this, it'll be good days. Fours? No, he's dead. Okay. Because it does more than two damage, right? Three damage, yeah. Yeah, he's dead. All righty, good one. Ba pow boom, he blew up, I swear. And now he's gone. Okay, so now all the bikes are gone, Scott. That was a nice slap back, man. I mean, as much as it seemed like your the coffin was closed, I feel like you slapped back really good there. I did. That was way better than I thought. There's still a giant, giant dreadnought sitting right there that I don't know how I yeah, can but deal you, with them. All the bikes, all the Alaris, the Sagittarian yep. squad. I mean, literally, we, we, we talked about my kill list. I mean, your turn back was just as big of a kill list, honestly. The, the blade guard pulled through you for me. You took a 500-point unit off the board. Yep. Plus the bike. So. so I've killed one, two, three. Yeah, it's actually relevant now. Now you have to get four units, which I don't think I did. Is possible. Well, no, this is turn three now. So oh, because I get to respond. Yeah, yeah, you get to get. If you can go four units, you're good to go. Tricky. Okay. So um, did we just complete the everything? I think right. Uh, we just have to score for me. So I scored ten. I from, got. I got you. You for already that. got that. Yep. And then I got the, um, uh, domination. domination? Yeah, I put my um, objective secure guys right in the middle. Yep. Okay. So Much to the chagrin of a plasma flamer. Had, had that bike lived, it would have denied it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So very good for you. You got yourself three points for dominate. One, two, three. I've already given you the ten. Uh, Blade Sanguinis is still falling, flying around. You got your deployer. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, the start of my turn. You took me off all the objectives. objectives, right? Yeah. How's it feel? Not good. Right. Yeah. It I was a good, so see, it was it a was good a turn. Good, it was a good turn. Man. Yeah. You just put me, you gave me the same treatment. Right. I uh, get no primary points. I'm fighting for my domination. I haven't killed any characters yet again. So here we go. Yeah. I have my tools have been taken away. Hmm. No reserves. Just my hero. Waiting. Just your hero. He's waiting to do Waiting to go things. capture an objective so you can get dominated. It's kind of scary, though, because he's worth <laughs> 10 points to you to kill with a non, without your character. Yeah, with you, anything. Yeah, yeah, 15 if you kill him with your guy. I wish there was some sort of slapback if I killed your challenger. That'd be cool. Well, you just, it takes it down by five points. Yeah. But that would, that would be cool. If, if it, like, denied the objective. I mean, would, ish. It's already a, a it's very already hard, hard secondary yeah, to that's, achieve. That's, that makes sense, too. You have every ability right now to be like, nah, I'm just going to avoid you. If, if it was that, the point total of that, avoiding it, you'd be like, Are these three up in balls or four? Four up in balls. Okay. I don't know what my best choice is right now, but I think it's to try to, I need vengeance. 
I my, need vengeance. In my heart of hearts, I need to kill those guys out of sheer anger. Okay. Um, and then, um, huh, the reducing damage on the Dreadnought thing is, is, is good. Got this one little butthead back here. Yep. Which I could touch the wall and shoot him. It's probably the you could totally do that. I didn't think about that. Sad day. <laughs> there we go. So only two can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that'll work. Maximize. Our two for, and then uh, our heroes. It's pretty much hero hammer at this point. Hero hammer. Well, for you, I've I've got a decent amount of stuff on the field. Yeah, exactly. For me, for <laughs> you, it's hero hammer. Very much so. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, hmm. I wonder if he can. I bet you that he sure could. I'm gonna probably charge both those guys. Just turn off Overwatch. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Ringo six here. I mean, everybody counts at this point. Valeris doesn't have any good combat traits, but he's gonna try. Valeris doesn't have good combat traits. Oh, not Valeris. Um, the, oh, the, the banner. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Vexilla. I was like, Valeris has a few. He's kind of awesome with his Watcher axe. Uh, Fourteen inches is does not get me to the objective. Oh, that's it's terrible to be 14 and a half, 15 inches away. That means I'd have to advance, or I'd have to successfully make a charge. And I don't think, ugh. Well, good news is you have one command point. Ugh, I do. Yeah, you don't see it there, but I do. Man, I hate how close that 14 inches is. Should have been a lot smarter with him. I didn't do his consolidates or anything. Because if I, a, smarty, a smart man would be like, I should be 14 inches. I'm going to remember that. And I'll never forget it again. Ever. 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 I kind of want to. Forever. I need that objective. I need domination. I don't think there's a choice here but to get domination. Because I can't, uh, like, I can't guarantee myself I kill somebody. And because I can't guarantee uh, a kill, it makes me not want to mess around. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put them in the, we'll put them in the woods, and we're gonna auto advance six. So we just took away a bunch of shots from us that I wish I could have done. <laughs> How dare I play the mission? What is this trash? I just took away a bunch of shots I wish I could have done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I did not expect this turn to pass over with me being in a position of feeling like uh, I'm in trouble. Yeah, me neither, honestly. Uh, the, the Terminators are so tough yeah. that I'm like, I don't have enough. I thought that I just, I just did not envision them doing such work. And they will pay. I will kill them right now. I'm going to laugh so hard <laughs> when only one dies. I'm so scared of that instance. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, so let's let's get into it. I think where we're about to go is the shooting phase. And let me just play this camera real quick. Uh, the word is going to be, we got the Sagittarians that are over there in the corner. Maybe they might want to shoot first. Just got to get this camera reset here. So you, yeah, you have Sagittarius champs that can take out. You just don't have much on the table. And this no. is where, when, yeah, when you start plinking off anything in an elite army like this, right. everything counts. And it literally it was just moments ago where I was like, yeah, you've only killed a couple bikes. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, I lost, lost a couple bikes. Yeah, oh, and you're like, you, all your dreadnoughts died. And I was like, look at me. I'm on top of the world. And then that happened. Um, that did happen. Yeah. I mean, I would still like to have a Leviathan sitting there. That's fair. But I still have Telamon. I, I mean, again, my, uh, my perception of... Like, my strength is not necessarily tuned in yet. So sometimes things surprise me more than I would after some more practice. Um, yeah, there's Sagittarians. These guys. There's a guy on the other side of this building. But not for long. Yeah. We're going to kill him. Um, this one will shoot at... He is... Is within 15. So we'll shoot our 15-inch gun there. We'll shoot our 24-inch gun there. Okay. Um, for this guy. And okay. then they'll, they'll shoot all their shots there. Okay. Well, let's do that first. All right, Sagittarian. So the be we'll do the beam into the Dreadnought first because it'll make me feel good. Aha. And strength five, need five? No. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> all right. And then the three uh, shots from that single model into the, uh, the veterans. Uh, we get... Two, two hits, yeah. 
And strength five. Uh, so there goes the wound. Yep, two wounds. Minus a bunch. Um, yeah, because they're only tough. Minus four. one. Uh, minus one, yep. Minus one AP? Yep. Yeah, this was my smaller uh, part of the oh, game. Oh, just minus one? Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's what you just said. And these are damage two each? Yeah. So they're, they have a three up then, because they're saves a three, the shield gives them plus one, and they go back to a three. OK. Oh, wow, that wasn't good two for you. Two piece. So if I reroll one, then only one takes a wound. I mean, takes two wounds. Yeah. That was, that was. Yeah, I'll spend one of my three CP. Yeah? Yeah, he's alive. OK. Things matter. Everything matters. Oh right man, now. at this point, yeah. man, we were gonna call it too, Scott. And we, I, I was we, like, I thought about you're it. like, I let's rack so it. You, it's because you got hit hard. But dang, did you punch back. back? Yeah, like a fighter. It's like Rocky all over again. <laughs> it's like the movie. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna shoot the Sagittarian into that guy that won't die yet, but now he will. Uh, we're gonna have six shots with our strength five oh, minus one two damage. Guard. Yep. Yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That doesn't um, look good. Threes to hit. Threes to wound. Minus one. Three ups. Mm -hmm. Two damage. damage piece. Yeah, he's gone. Got him. Ha chow. Sanguinary Guard deployed scramblers. So that, I feel so weird about that. That is strange, but hey, you're playing the mission. Uh, that is going to get me a kill towards the battle round because we need to get four kills, correct? Right. Okay. So now we'll move back over to this view and think about what's going to happen over here. God, I'm sad he's not shooting. I'm not. Oof. Had to play the dang old mission. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I feel like if I don't sh I can't even shoot that dread because he, well, no, he's not within three of anybody. He can't look out, sir, right now. Right? He's not a character. Oh, he's not even a character? Yeah. Six wounds, Telamon. I'm just thinking that maybe now's the time to kill him if he's going to die. But do I even have those resources? Um, I, did I move Telemon this turn or did I not even need to? You, yeah, you moved him forward a little bit for vengeance. Okay. So I could have shot five extra shots had I not moved, but that's okay. It's okay. Um, learning. Uh, <laughs> so four shots, strength seven minus three, two damage. It's pretty powerful. You know what? Everything into these guys. Vengeance. I only have two. That's okay. I'm... I don't have, uh, getting angry is really important. You can make yourself, I'm thinking of my next turn, mm -hmm. and I can force a litany to go off on two CP, mm. but making those guys live and having a screen there seems pretty important to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and transhuman them. Okay, giving them difficult decisions. So you're gonna go down to zero command points? No, I should have had three, so I should be down to one. Did you do? Transhuman's just one. Oh, it's just one. Yeah. Excuse me. For that many people. Yes, so you're going down to one command point remaining, and here I go with everything into them. So first, we'll do the twin plasma projectors, 2d3, flaming. Three, four, five shots. Dang. And strength five six. And that is that many wounds at minus two, single damage. Four is the wound. Ooh, right, excuse me. Minus two, so mm -hmm. four ups. One goes through. Okay, so single damage, which does kill one, right? Yep. All right, and then the Spiculous Bolt Launcher at five shots, twos to hit. Rerolling ones from Valeris if I, yep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we need fours, of course, because of the situation. Rerolling ones from Valeris. Only two saves. Uh, minus one. Minus one, so three ups. Ooh, another wound. Single damage. Single damage, okay. But now the heavier shots, twos. Rerolling ones. Thankfully, they all hit. We need fours here. Woo! Ones. All right, conversion. Minus three here. Two damage. Four up and loss. He's good. Dang, good one. Storm shields. Good job. Okay, so that takes care of Telemon. Your screen remains. I don't think I'm going to be able to stop that from being a thing. Um, let us go to Valerius himself. Okay. We'll shoot his Watcher's Axe. It's times two damage. Minus three AP. T3 damage. Yeah, why not? We shoot the uh, we shoot the boy. We're about to not put any shots into these guys. We better try to knock these down a little bit. Okay. Uh, so we are actually going to go ahead and shoot the Watcher's axe into the assault intercessors. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is rapid fire, two shots, rerolling ones, twos to hit. Need threes, two wounds, minus one, four ups. Dang, good rolling. 
All right. I'm sure that was like three damage each or something. It was two damage piece. Okay, yeah. yeah. It would have done a good job. It would have done a good job. Uh, the Praetor. Uh, he is working with next to nothing here. Yeah, he literally does not even have a gun. Once you give him a storm shield, he has nothing. Yeah. Okay. Hold this shield and this banner. Good luck. He sure did bring those Alaris down, though. Considered like a an honor. Champion. Uh, that is going to be the end of it. Feel light handed there. One kill does not feel good. Okay, so now I got to ask my. I have difficult decisions here. It's all in the middle. Um, right now, I don't get domination if uh, these guys don't go away. That's right. You know? And at the start of your turn, if those guys don't go away, you're going to get 10 points. Oh. Because you'd be on three objectives. So please don't charge them. They are literally very important that they die, I think. Okay, so now I need to. Um, do they have an invul? No. Okay. I have to actually entertain what I'm going to do here. Um, so I could have five attacks, plus I got the Vexilla to help me out. The six attacks with the melee axe. That's D3 damage a piece. There's five guys, though. And minus three, you're going to get uh, six up saves. Mm -hmm. You could definitely come out of that. The storm shields are really going to suck when Telmon swings into those. All right. Well, I think I have a general idea what's going to happen. Telemon charges both of these units. Okay. Would you like to overwatch? No. He makes it. He engages with both by being one inch from both of them. Now I'll charge Valerius into the uh, unit of intercessors. He's going to make it mightily. Your guys are angry. My guys are barely We're very towing angry. in. We're very angry. <laughs> uh, now we don't want to block him. You're going to charge him with his knife? Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> we need everything we got right now. All right, we're in there. Okay, that looks like the scene. Uh, let us prepare. So what we will do is swing with Valerius himself. Okay. All right. It's a little scary. If I do that, you could pull so Telemon doesn't get to fight at all. Where maybe it's the move to just lock these guard up. These guys have to die. If they don't oh, die, yeah. it's so bad. Well, because uh, your guys aren't objective secured, right? They are, but it would be my. There would be three models. Your characters are objective secured too. Yeah. Okay. Everybody but dreadnoughts. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can't pull you out then because only only these three are on the objective, right? The back two aren't. That's fair. So. So that situation looks a little better now. Telemon okay. will not fight first. I will. I will fight for with Valeris into these. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't want you. You're not going to ding me down. How many attacks do those guys get? The assault intercessors. Quite a Twenty six right now. I'll fight with Valeris. Okay. <laughs> Why did that happen? Okay, there it is. Cool. All right, yeah, so Valeris will go ahead and fight before the, things get bad. He gets five attacks, and then the Vexil will give him plus one for the Dread Host Warlord trait. Sixes will explode. Two's to hit, rerolling once. No sixes. And we need a number that's high. Okay, I'm all sorry. those all those wound. It's too late to say it. Okay. What? I want a transhuman. But it's too late to say. You it. only had one CP. You could do it. No. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's still no because it, it's it's previous knowledge. I know directly how much I'm going to prevent. Yeah. That's not cool. Is it wasn't it? that many though. I still rolled really good. Minus three. Yeah. Okay. So these are six, and I'm sure these do D3 damage each. Yeah. Oh god. Nothing. Sad day. Okay. So um, D3. So we'll do one at a time. One at a time. Yeah. First guy. That was alive. Alive, and then he's dead. Yep. Dead. 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 Oh gosh, dead. dead and dead, dead. Valeris kicked some butt. That was awesome. That's what they do. Custodies. He was a hero. All right, that felt good. You know, killing stuff's pretty nice. Uh, we'll consolidate like that. And then now, do you want, you can't override. So it's gonna be Telemon. That's right, I can't interrupt. Here we go. Looks decent. There we go. All right, Telemon. Do your worst to these heretics. <laughs> um, hey, uh, hey, uh. So I uh, believe my friend here, he has five base, but then he was upgraded with a command point, and then he has the Vexilla uh, giving some assistance. On uh, sixes, they'll explode. Two's the hit rerolling once. Okay. One six. Flip that one. Ooh, into a six. So oh, two additional gosh. hits. And then we're twos. I'm not going to trans even here. <laughs> and we reroll ones from Valeris. Oh my gosh. That many. 
four, four damage a piece. Yeah. Four damage a piece. Minus three. Ouch. One, One two, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, you got your vengeance. I did. <laughs> but you know what you didn't do? Kill more. I know. But I will do this. I'm going to consolidate into this gap. Cool. I want it. At least you leave my heroes a little, a little bit alone. But I do want to stay within three of the characters, which I think I have achieved right now. Yeah, you're good. Okay, cool. So I'm blocking the gap. I'm hodoring that gap there. Hodor. <laughs> Uh, and wow, what a game. Um, what a game. That resolves that. I do clear domination. Uh, let's go to the overhead and get the score finalized here. So we're going to move into turn four. I did not kill more. Uh, so no domination. Okay. Did I just kill? I did not kill any characters either, right? No. No. So. Well, you didn't get kill more because you only killed three. Yeah, you didn't get kill more. Uh, what did I get? I got uh, domination. Yes. One, two, three. Very close game, dude. It's 26-24. Whew. Yeah, okay. I knew it was going to be a low-scoring game. Yeah. Um, so, uh, do you have... How many objectives do you have? Right now I have two. So you get five points. Going up to 29. Okay. Um, and then you'll go up to two CP. I'm going to advance these Marines on top, hoping for, I need to move 11 with them. So I just need a four because I get plus one to advance. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't want to reroll it. Okay. I'll just have to keep something there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So they only go eight. Um, I'm going to command phase, so I'm going to give this guy the plus one to hit. So I have to get there to hurt them, but I can't, like, remove them. You know what? He's only 18 and he gets reroll charge. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that. Okay, cool. So we'll just move this guy a little bit closer, leaving room for the one guy to move. The tech marine will stay on guard by himself, which seems like a terrible idea. <laughs> um, and then he heals the dreadnought back up. Oof. Yeah, that's why that guy seemed like he just went right, at three wounds back was- Are these obscuring for movement or can you go over them? Um, How have you been treating them? I've been treating them pretty much obscuring, or not obscuring, going right over them. But yeah, okay. I, yeah, go right over them. I just wonder if that's how they should be. Not necessarily, I think you should do that. I mean, they're right over now. one inch. Yeah. So I feel like you should count them as going up and down. Yeah. Don't do it now, because I'd never do it, but, and we didn't talk about it. Um, I, I think that's the way we should treat it. We haven't accounted it yet, because otherwise I could just get a cheeky, I'm going to go grab this objective. Okay. Um, and that's not fair, right? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. These things just get played on so much that I did. I want to not count vertical on those, because it just makes them more playable, you know? Yeah. Those are, that does not a big deal on those. I'm going to keep him on the objective and give him range to see Valoris. Okay. And he only gets to move four, which is enough. Nice, staying out of three, no heroics for me. Um, well, I'm gonna charge him anyhow. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll tangle foot you. Actually, you know what, maybe I shouldn't charge him. I think only infantry can tangle foot, actually, it's true. I, I'm, I'm denying you the objective by being on it. I'm opsec. Oh, he is? Only I have to not. kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, he's gonna move only 12 inches up to here. Oh, sorry, litanies again. Aha. I'm not going to spend my two command points to make sure it goes off. I'm just going to see if he gets angry. He doesn't, sad Oh, day. dude. Litany of hate to see if he gets rerolls. He gets those. Okay. Four pluses has not been your friend on those advances and stuff. <laughs> um, well, that was, that was just uh, mm -hmm. to get angry, right? So, yeah, yeah. His litany. Just um, another one of those. I think we're moving on to the shooting phase. Okay. That's, that's all the units I have. It's going fast move. now. It is. Okay, so shooting... Quake bolts. 
I'm much more important into Telamon just to see if my Dreadnought can shave off a few wounds. So Quake Bolts into the Telamon, um, Flamer into the Telamon, and the Plasma Cutter into Telamon. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do everything from my Tech Marine into Telamon. Seems reasonable. Seems, seems the only thing I can do. <laughs> okay, so Quake Bolts is the important one. Awesome, it hits, so he's felled. Okay. That's the only shot I can do from there. I'm not going to overcharge my Plasma Cutter. It's just going to go standard. It hits. Five to wound. No wound. It gives like a Santa Claus laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Three hits with the Flamer. These will be sixes. No wounds there. Cool. Good story, Tech Marine. <laughs> Moving on to oh, 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 oh. the Dreadnought. The Death Company Dreadnought will put everything into Telamon. Actually, that's a lie. Uh, no, Telamon's protecting those characters, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so Meltagun. Baby Dreadnought. Meltagun hits on a four. It wounds. Ooh. AP minus four. We're surprised. Ooh, okay. We see you. We shall snuff this out for the Emperor. Oh, oh, come oh, on. Oh, I need oh, that. Oh, I need that. Oh, oh. Uh, flamer for three. These are going to be sixes. Oh, it's actually fives. A heavy flamer. Still doesn't do anything. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Remember my name. <laughs> Furioso Dread's going to shoot everything at your captain. 2d3 uh -huh, uh -huh. cannon shots for three hits. What's his toughness? Uh, six. So threes. Holy cow. Nothing there. Heavy Flamer for four hits. One wound at minus one. God's on my side. Seriously. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so tough. You killed our screen. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to shoot the giant cannon into Valoris with that stupid cheeky line. Okay. Uh, cool. Do we just need to check to see if he's closest? Oh, yeah. Characters don't block characters. You're right. good. Yeah. Um, so first we'll do the Storm Bolter. Okay. For three hits. <laughs> three sixes and three sixes again. So that's, wow. it's just a Storm Bolter though, so there's no AP uh, on this. Oh, too bad it wasn't a more I know, too bad it wasn't the other substantial one. Substantial weapon. Um, so these are just gonna be on your, I assume he has a two up. Yeah. So three of them? Three, yep. Oh, Take a wound. Okay, take one. And then D6 shots with a cannon. Four, oh, I saw the six. Oh, into a one. You can re-roll. Number, number of shots? shots? Maybe, yes. Yes, you yes, can. Yes, yes, yes. number of shots. Yeah, yeah. Is that valuable, or do I save the two command points? I mixed up kill team. I'm, I'm going to re-roll that, because if I get a large thing and kill him, that's a big deal. Five. Five's better. I, five's a lot better. Threes. And then twos. Three at minus three. Okay. Uh, I think Boris is rocking a three up. Because he's like a legendary dude. Let's check it out. He's taken one. I believe he has seven wounds. He does. So he's Holy down to cow. six. And then he is the... Three up involved. Halo. Armite Halo. Fail one. So that means you could kill me. Uh, I have a CP. I'm not looking yet. I think I have a CP. I do have a CP. I'm going to reroll this. I'm okay. too, I don't want to die off a of six. Wachow! I'm fine. Dang it. What was, uh -huh. it, what was it gonna be? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you lost my game. Yeah. Um, shot, shot, shot. I just have to see if I want to shoot your other guys. Yeah, I don't think I can kill them with what the, the chaplain is rocking as far as shooting goes. So, first them. The pistol's actually better now looking into it. Um, so I'll shoot his absolver bolt pistol. One shot. It hits. It'll be fours. It wounds at minus two because it's a pistol and where are we at again this is the your sagittarium guard yeah. i think yes mm -hmm. over there okay cool uh one or two just one at minus two ah, ah, I mean, you made ah, every save ah, haven't you i did that's that's rude <laughs> i feel good about it it's rude <laughs> you got one through oh great that's right i got one okay charges Ooh. uh chaplain first he gets a free reroll so he'll charge into your sagittarium guard i think i'll make it with an eight Thank you, Will, too. So we're just going to go directly on the objective. Okay. Death Company Dread's going to go ahead and go into Telamon. Mm -hmm. 
makes it with a, a yep. five. Yep. And then the Furioso is going to go into your captain. This one's going to be at minus two, right? Uh -huh. So it's a four, five, goes down to three. Is that enough? I think so. You can have that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're there. OK, and we're going to see what happens there, because I didn't take away that objective from you. Interesting. And that's the, that's the charges. So Telemon did block the gap. He did Hodor that, which is pretty cool. He did. We'll see if we can chip some wounds away before he decimates a Death Company dreadnought. <laughs> So, where shall we start? There's no overrides by me. There's no overrides, so let's just have fun. Yeah. Um, I'm on the Primaris Chaplain, so we'll start with his first. Four attacks, plus one for Blood Angels, plus one for charging, plus this one for being... This is against the uh, hero, right? No, this is my Chaplain against oh, your right, right, right. Sagittarian. Right. So he's going to have seven attacks because he did not get his Litany off. He's hit on twos, re-rolling because of the Canticle. Okay. And he also gets a free re-roll if he wants it, but we'll save that to wound. Okay, six hits, and then it'll be strength seven, so I need twos to wound. They all wound, okay. six wounds, at minus three. Four ups. Wow! Holy cow. Oh. One dies. <laughs> One dies. That was very awesome. And Are you kidding me? Very good for me. <laughs> this game is rigged. Woo! That was good. Okay. I, I was so excited about that chaplain. Oh, that meant a lot. And he's <laughs> he's just not doing justice to well, the chaplain. Well, next. <laughs> next. All right, Death Company Dread starts out with a base of five, plus one for charging, plus one for Death Company, plus one for being Blood Angels and Awesome. So he's got eight attacks. These will hit on twos because you are felled. You are taking a knee, as it were. Mm. Right. Oof, it mattered. So it's going to be six hits, and then I am strength ten. So I wound on threes, Blood Angels wound on twos, and I get to reroll wounds for this. Okay. Stop with the ones. Five wounds at minus to three. All right. Failed two. I thought you're four. Uh, I've been rolling him. Are you sure? Telmon? Yeah. He's a god. He's a, he is a god. Yeah. He's the best dreadnought that ever was dreadnought. Pretty much. Yeah, the four up makes him real good. I was told it was a five up for him. Wrong. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but let, I'm pretty sure I'm right. Let's check it out. Four up. Oh. Reinforce atomic barriers. Cheating. Okay, so these are just going to be, because you're a dreadnought, it'll be a total of four damage. Okay. So six of gun veins. Yep. Nope, takes four. Four. He's down to eight. Yeah, I think that profiles him. Uh, no, eight plus wounds is normally on a 14 model wound. Okay. Um, I am making sure I'm not going to cheat. I just want to check that, yes, you reroll fail moralities. Choose one of the following. Yeah, this doesn't matter too much. I'm just checking something real quick. Yeah. Um, Vexilla Defensor. Yeah, it's only infantry, so I can't buff Telamon with the Vexilla. I might have given him one extra attack a couple times, but it's okay. That's how. <laughs> I might have cheated by one extra attack. Hear that, everyone? A couple times. Everyone? Everyone uh, is cheating. But that's why I check now. <laughs> to not cheat. <laughs> to not cheat. <laughs> at this point. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're at this guy. Yep, Furioso Dreadnought. He has a base of four, plus one for charging, plus one for Blood Angels. So he have six attacks. He'll hit on threes. Oh, no, I didn't cheat. I did once. Never mind. Once. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, man. My hits are yeah. terrible this time. Oof. Two's to wound him, though. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> are you <laughs> Hanging my head in shame. I have two command points. I'm just going to save them because I won't kill this guy with a three-up in ball anyhow. Thank you. I appreciate that. I have a five-up. Feel no pain. How much damage? Three damage. Okay. Oh, wait. You know what? I get to re-roll a dice uh, or save once per turn. So let's do that. <laughs> three-up. There we go. You get to save a hit or a wound or a save. Yeah. Okay. So no damage. Yeah. Nice try. That was rude. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now I fight. So you fight. Okay. Five attacks from my guy that's How the camera's on. How is it? Zone. In one turn, I like wipe out half your army. It's crazy. And the next turn, you're like, no, I have an armor save, actually. Uh, yeah. Uh, get wrecked. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> exactly. here, here we go. Twos. Uh, there's no, yeah. Twos are rolling. Wow. Too bad I'm not next to the Vexilla. Is this the captain? Yeah. Okay. And fives? Uh, strength six, yeah. Death of seven? Yeah. AP? Uh, minus three. Six up? Why can't I do that? D3s. Okay. 
So three, one, two, four. Yeah. Four damage. Okay. Down to four. Yep. Uh, those dreadnoughts are really tanky. It's cool. Um, okay. Cool. So now we are back to Telamon, the Golden God. We'll make sure oh, that man. It, he is profiled or not. Pretty positive, right? Yeah, he's still on top profile by What's one What's the damage move. of his fist? Like 12? Uh, four damage. Four each. Yeah. I'll go ahead and spend a CP on a five up. Ah, I can't interrupt. Well, I'm going to be attacking first anyhow. You don't have a fight first, do you? Are you expecting to live through this? So I'm like, just saying something will live, like maybe my chaplain or something. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, are you expecting to live with this? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do a five up feeling the pain. I'll spend a CP. Okay. So here we go. It's seven attacks. One time I gave him an eighth attack, but he gets one extra for his fist. He gets so it's six attacks to make it. No, right. I'm kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. Set, seven. Yeah, here we go. Twos. We're good. There we go. And sixes do not explode. Okay. Which I might have messed up. I think I cheated you. Man, so we're going to be we're watching this. This rep's terrible. <laughs> uh, it looks so good, but dang, did we mess up a few times. Here we go. Uh, yeah. I reroll once from Valeris. Okay. The sixes might explode. I didn't check that out. Okay. Damn it. AP minus three on these? Uh, yes. Twos do wound. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, okay. so four go through at three damage a pop because okay. it's four because yeah. of a dreadnought. So 12 damage. So I have 12 damage. He could live. Okay. Five up, feel no pains. If I, if I roll somewhat, pop. One, two, three, four, five, ignored. Okay. So I, he's alive. So I'm checking my Warlord trait now because I did get two sixes. All seen Annihilator. When resolving an attack with a melee weapon by a friendly dread host unit within six, unmodified sixes do want, uh, get extra attacks. So I was correct with the exploding sixes. Custodes cheats. I will roll two more, two more chances to wound. Twos. So make two more saves. No, you have to hit. Those are hits, right? No, they're auto hits. No, no yeah, they're auto hits. So now One save. give me three more saves. Oh my gosh. Oh! One. Do you I one? missed by one. Oh, dude. Got him. That was close call, though. Okay, so I feel better because I didn't quite cheat as bad as I thought. I only cheated by one extra attack one time. So right. that feels good. How did I not kill your Sagittarian Guard? I got really lucky there. Um, you're down one command point. He hasn't lost any wounds. That is what it is, yeah. But uh, he lost four wounds. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, he's at eight. He should be at eight. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got ahead of myself. Okay, this has been crazy. A lot more down to the wire than I ever expected after how brutal one of my turns So was. I didn't kill anything. You get to attack back with your Sagittarium Guard. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to actually get my, before even my turn, I'm going to get the, uh, grind them down on this one. Up, oh, we got a dead battery going on there. We'll go here. Okay. This one's funny. I can't believe these guys aren't I dead. I cannot believe they're not dead. They should be dead as hell. This guy's like so pumped up. We've talked about his rules like so much. Yeah, <laughs> he's done the check. <laughs> I normally take like the jump pack captain because I have these awesome conversions for captains, but they're 160 points and aren't good compared to this guy. That's fair. Uh, three attacks per, and we're twos to hit. We're not next to anybody for help. Nothing. <laughs> well, at least there's that. <laughs> they were scared. But they still score when they're scared. Um, so we're going to go to the overhead. And we are going to move into the bottom of turn four. That was wild and crazy. Um, let us figure out where we are now. So we still have our challenge happening. Um, did You did not dominate that run, did you? Or did you? Nope. My objective secured stopped you from domination. Yes. Holy cow, it did. Because I didn't kill out of all odds. That yeah. You kill those I didn't zone. think that would happen. I managed to, my Custodes OPSEC is playing a role right now. Okay. Um, so we stopped you from domination. You did get your deploy scramblers. You're still working on, uh, at the start of my turn, I'm on two objectives. I'm on three objectives, which is more than you. It is. I'm going to get 15 points on the primary. Oh, there's the game. Yeah. It changed hands by that turn. What a, that was, I mean, this is Unless saucy. magic happens in turn five, which it sure has been saucy. Okay, so uh, I'm, I know I'm going to get grind them down this turn. Uh, I guess you could kill me on here. No, we won't write that down yet. All right, so I'll just give myself the 15 on the primary. Okay. Insane. Putting me to um, 30, 41 points. Okay. And here we go. All right, so what I need to do is not screw up. How, how, did I kill any more characters? I don't think so. Nope, not yet. Yeah, okay, cool. 
So that's where my secondaries are living, is the characters. Um, you're going to get to fight first here, but I don't think you're going to kill me there. The Sagittarian uh, do not stand much chance, so they definitely need to fall back. So the Sagittarian will fall back and make you have to fight me yet again. I'll go to the farthest edge of this area. Uh, ooh, i got to stay outside of three. Almost got me there. Ooh, you're in a good spot. You're right in the middle of the objective. We need a cheat stick. This is got to get, get surgical. I'm looking for my three-inch ones. Oh, I need just two. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Because you might block out this objective. Ooh, there it is. So we hit a sliver. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you were real close to blocking that out. Let me see if I have any like heroically intervene up to 12 inches. What's funny is you thought you were going to kill these guys, but with had, if it wasn't such the heat of the moment, you didn't think about this potentially being a thing. No. Um, but you could have blocked this out to be noted. But we're going to make that burn into your memory. Because <laughs> hey, we're going to play everything we can. <laughs> uh, and then he's going to stay in combat for the best. And then Telemon's about to go punk the tech priest, dude. Wow, this is crazy. It feels good to have fun playing 40K, I tell you. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. It, ooh, I really, maybe I want to go punk your uh, ch chaplain with uh, Telemon. That'd be pretty wild. That would. That would be a sad day. I can't help myself. That's too cool. <laughs> okay, so the woods make me minus two to move through, right? So I'm going to go seven to here. Because that is way too cool not to attempt. Okay, and then instead, we'll put Valeris. This is interesting. Tech Marine has, I think, five wounds, a two up save, and that's it. I don't think he has an in ball. I don't think we're killing him. I feel like killing these. Uh, Four wounds and a two-up save. I feel like killing your infantry is going to be better for the game more than killing the tech marine right now. Because numbers are what matters right now. These objectives matter a lot. You know, they've been doing yeah. a lot of work. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to just hit this farthest edge of this objective. I guess we'll put our toe in cover because uh, we do get benefits that way. We'll go like that. <laughs> so you get benefits that way with your three-up in ball? <laughs> uh, Two-ups... Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you'll be getting like plus two to armor saves and stuff because you have a storm shield, right? Yeah. With the one person. With the one person, yeah. So we'll just put him in there. Um, yeah, we'll call that. I did just put him in 12 so we can get rapid fire on these cats. I think that's that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to do it just like that. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this plays out. So we're going to go into the shooting phase. Um, the bike captain can't shoot. We'll nope. go to our... Our buddy uh, Valeris, and he will shoot from the objective uh, right over here, guys. Kind of see it. There we go. And two shots, twos to hit. Who is this against? Uh, these guys. Oh, the assault intercessors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we roll ones, two wounds. AP minus one or two. Doesn't matter. Okay, Good let's story. go to let's go to Telemon. So now Telemon, check out the store. Check out the store. Ah. All sorts of models are on display today at the store. <laughs> Battlegrounds is a friendly gaming store. If you're ever in the Richmond area, though, for sure, highly encourage you to come down. For sure, it is massive, and you can look at almost every single mini in a painted fashion. Forge World and beyond <laughs> on shelves. It's kind of crazy. We, we do got a pretty sweet wall of models here. It is nuts. Um, okay, well, Telmon's going to kill you. At least that's what he wants to do. He's going to shoot you with everything. Who's, mm. who's you? Uh, the, where you're chaplain on a bike. Okay. We could split this up and maybe kill your tech marine. He has five wounds. Thinking. We're next Thinking. to Valerius. We're next Thinking. to Valerius. You know what? Hmm. What kind of uh, save does your bike captain have? Uh, three up four. Three up four up. Three up in ball? Or no, three up armor, four up in ball. Right. Okay. 
Um, and I get to reroll one of them. We're gonna f we're gonna use our twin plasma projectors, or essentially the flamers, on the tech marine. Okay. We are also going to use the big two damage minus three shots as well. And then we'll put this, you know what? Everything into the freaking tech marine. Oh no. Yep, let's try to, we're going gr getting greedy. Yeah, yeah. The greed, 2d3 shots. Uh, four. Three, four, yep. And re-rolling once, you're gonna take that many wounds. Why is you rolling once? Because uh, Valeris. Oh, uh, you are within range. Mm -hmm. AP on these? Uh, these are minus two. The flamers, the plasma minus two? Mm -hmm. Four ups. Takes two. Okay, single, single damage. Okay, so he's got two left, but then you're about to hit him with giant cannons. Here's Is there the, minus one to hit? Uh, minus one to hit. I, re, I roll ones. They all hit. Ugh. And then now <laughs> I'm going Stop to... Stop dice. Die! Reroll ones. Oh my gosh. That reroll ones. Two wounds. AP? Minus three. Two damage apiece. He just got killed. Big time awesome. That was an assassinate. Now we will be done with shooting. Yep. And we are going to charge the captain on a bike or chaplain on a bike. His litanies won't save him today. I have one command Man. point. Yeah. I roll. Oh, you know what? I even gave him a CP. He gets the reroll charge. He gets the reroll charge. Yeah. Yeah. So he makes it because Corn wants it. Corn wants it. <laughs> oh, oh, the true colors come he's, out. He's watching. <laughs> we oh, love it. Sad day. And uh, that's that. It feels good. All right, well, that's the first thing to attack. That is the first thing to attack. So we will have seven attacks. Um, let me make sure that my big old butt can't get in range of Valeris with a one inch distance here. No, no. Could have done better. Well, maybe. Nah. No. Could have done that better. That'd be real tricky. Yeah. Well, just I had the movement. I just didn't do it. Oh, okay. I tried to get two shots on him. I just didn't play that as good as I could have. But we're learning. Soon I will be an unstoppable god. <laughs> um, so here we go with seven attacks without rerolls. Uh, you know what? I'll pop my one stratagem for the un the wisdom of the ancients. Reroll ones. Reroll ones. But that's are you considered core? I, I don't have that stuff in my, I'm not ninth edition yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess you get to reroll ones then. Yep. <laughs> is that your last Plus it, it's just, Yeah. Plus, it's just okay. dreadnoughts reroll ones yeah, yeah. is basically what's up. So, um, yeah, I might not even roll any ones. I might rather have this for my save. Gonna go for it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twos rerolling ones. Okay. We get no ones. Too bad I wasn't next to the Vixilla either. No, okay. not too bad. Okay. Toughness five. Could have done this better. You don't care? That many. Ouch. I need to do four damage apiece. Four damage apiece. Minus three. That is not good. Four up saves. Ooh, you're so getting wrecked. Um, I have two CP though, right? Uh, do I have, tell me I have two CP? It shows two, but I, I don't know if I... Yeah, because I didn't spend them. I was like, nope, not worth it. Nope, not worth it. Okay. Um, okay, so he'll die. I get one free reroll on a... On a save, but it still fails, but it'll still take 16 damage. Okay. But I'll spend 2 CP on death. To fight when you die? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. That, so so he does go down. He fights when he dies. I like it. Even if you didn't have it, which I'm sure you did. But even if you didn't, it feels cool. So go hey, ahead. You might be exploding too here. I'm not dying. <laughs> oh, I think you are. <laughs> okay. So. I saw what you did to those Sagittarians. Oh, stop. <laughs> it's not even funny. So he's, it's still the same battle round, so his litany still didn't go off, but he did get charged. <laughs> yeah. So it's four attacks, plus one, plus one, and then the Imperium Sword. It does not get plus one strength in attacks because only when he charges or performs a heroic intervention. Ooh. Um, yeah, not when he is charged. So the details. Fi five attacks, details, indeed. Okay, so he's only going to be strength six. Um, well, it's seven or six didn't matter. It was a strength well, you get eight plus one, one. Wound, so you're fours. Yeah. Um, still gonna be fours to wound you. Yeah. Okay, so twos to hit, and then fours, and I get to reroll one of them. Ouch. Oh, dude. Ouch. Not good. Rerolling one. Okay. okay. Three at minus three. Fours. Don't you dare. Come <laughs> on, George. George. Golden God. 
I'm never playing Custodes again. I hate playing Custodes. It's so aggravating. I'm doing another explosion. <laughs> All right, I hit you with 1,000 points. Oh, you saved. Okay, moving on. All right, uh, Furioso. <laughs> That was cool. So cool for some, cool for some. Very good, nice. Yeah, I, I, that dreadnought is a beast. You just need that and terminators, and you can win the game. I think so. And a, the the Donnie with jet bike, the Catherine Donnie with jet bike is just crazy He's too. He's pretty good too. Yeah. He's very good. Okay, so I didn't get charged or any of that nonsense. So it's just going to be four attacks, three hits, wounding on two. Okay, three wounds. Reasonable. But you have a three up in. Oh, <gasps> he's so dead. I reroll one per turn. Oh! Five up, feel no pains. How oh, much damage? Nine. I have exactly nine wounds, and I'm unwounded. You're Three. totally wounded, aren't you? No. You haven't hurt me. I've never hurt him? No. I thought I took one from shooting the one time. No, no that was on your yeah. other guy. Oh. Three, six, he has seven nine. wounds. He has nine? You gotta be kidding me. I think, you're, I think you're right. For some reason, I feel like. No, because I, I made the. Uh, remember, I did the reroll. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. I can do a reroll. And then I forgot. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You didn't, that's how you didn't yeah. take any damage. Three, six, six up, no nine, five up. Oh. Hey, that's oh. my. Uh, I like paid points and stuff. Ah, he's fine. He just Take took six. six. I thought I had you. Yeah. Now he has three wounds left. He really has nine? Yeah, dude, it's crazy. Now he oh fights me. Gosh, yeah. now he fights me. Yeah. All right, so uh, he, he wants to see it. I do. I'm, I'm going to. I got it. He, 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 wants, he, wants, he, wants, he wants to see it. Well, I see if you're cheating <laughs> legally. Uh, five attacks. Two is your only ones. Cool. And then, what? Seven wounds, buddy. Why am I thinking nine? Oh, you know why? It's because I took, uh, the other day I took the, so he has one left. You still made it. I still made it. But yeah, you know why I thought that is because I took that superior creation where you get plus two wounds. Oh. And I thought it was plus two wounds on nine, but in Battle Scribe it added it to his natural one. Okay. Making it nine. Gotcha. Because so like in the game I did it, I was like, why did I give him 11 wounds? Nine <laughs> plus two. Right. Seems dumb. <laughs> Seems a lot. Now I like the plus two wounds almost. But uh, five of feeling no pain or plus two wounds, I, that's a debate. Five of feeling no pain is it's amazing. pretty good. Yeah, pretty it saved good. my life just now. Yes, it did. Okay. Well, I'm glad we didn't cheat. Good call. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm glad we didn't cheat either. Yeah, and I'm He's glad still he, did, living, he did not die. Which is a sad day. Two. He's already rolled. So these are the wounds. Um, strength six and your toughness seven. seven. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Two. Okay, reroll. No. No, you already rolled. Yep. No cheating. Yep. Is there at minus three? Yes. Or is it minus two on the minus three? Minus three regardless. Oh no. Oh I didn't charge. Yep. You're good. Yeah. Well, I get to reroll I, I get to reroll wins when I charge. Oh, when I, I got charge. ones though, so they just go through. They're not gonna kill you though. No, two damage. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, oh. Yeah. So everything's fine. But I still opsec hold the objective. You do. Which is gonna mean everything. It does mean everything. <laughs> Uh, well, that was crazy, and this game has been nuts. We have finished. That was your turn five? No. No. That's your turn four. That was my turn four. Going on to it turn five. It felt good. We're going to turn five, and uh, I did get domination at the end of my turn. And you removed all the objectives from me. And I killed another character. Right? Yes. Yes. I killed the tech marine. So that was lucky. You killed two characters. Oh, I killed two. I got the other guy too. Oh my God. <laughs> That's gross. So I went up nine points going to 50 points. You won't be able to score any, unfortunately, on this turn uh, as you start your primaries. Uh, so here we go. If you kill my captain, you get 10 points. I can't kill him. He has one wound left and yeah, probably can't kill him. Well, I can shoot him you can in combat. You, you kill him. He could die. Actually, I don't think I can shoot him in combat. Um, I have to see if the, the, they're blast weapons. Oh, God. The heavy yeah. frag cannons, I can shoot the heavy flamer. That's it. Or you could just fall back and shoot me with something else, but still. That seems that's only five points. Oh, if you don't kill me with a character, it's only five points? If I kill you in close combat, it's ten. Oh. If I just kill you, it's five. I see it's a terrible secondary. Oh. You took away all of my killy power. Wow. Because you decided to save every armor save <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> I did make a lot. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, you know, whatever it's, whatever it's called, but I am. Salty? <laughs> I am salty. Got all the sodium. All the sodium. We're just going to have fun and charge. Yeah. Screw the objectives at this point. <laughs> um, yeah, falling back does not seem like a good option over here. I would fight first, and you only have two wounds left, so it doesn't seem great to stay there either. 
We'll see if they can be heroes. That's fair. I have one CP. <laughs> um, that's my movement. So shooting. Okay, a heavy flamer into your your bike because it wouldn't make sense to just not score it. Four hits. Okay. Fives to wound you. No wounds. Oof. Um, we're gonna do, he has a three up save and so does the Vexel. He's gonna have a three up save because of his yep. involve. Well, he has involve four up, right? Well, plus one for being in cover, but not towards the involve. I'm just saying that uh, custodians get plus one involve, so their four up storm shield becomes a three. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Legal cheating, I got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Two heavy bolt pistols. We're special. We're special, and two yeah. uh, Tarzan. Emperor's favorite. You know, we've seen the Emperor, apparently. I saw that on uh, Fandom. You, see, you, see the, you saw the chair, you mean. <laughs> one wound into Trajan. Uh, at minus two. Uh, remember my name. I'm good. He's fine. Storm Bolter from the tank into Trajan. Two hits. No wounds. And the big cannon. Come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tasty. Okay, four hits. Four wounds. I got this. I believe you do. No, you don't. Uh, I feel one. One. You can kill me on a six. Ooh. It's okay. I still got him. I got him. I still got him. There's one wound left. We're going to see the, the glory of Assault Intercessors. <laughs> um, so charges, because that's, that's everything. Um, awesome. We're going to charge the Assault Intercessors into Trajan. Okay. They'll get a seven, which I think is plenty. Looks good to me. It's their time. It's their time to shine, do the things, and punch them in the face. Excellent. And then we'll charge the other guys into your shield, Captain. I don't know what they need, though. It's going to be tricky. Because it's a minus two, right? Yeah. Uh, six. I guess an eight. Six. So I need an eight. But at Blood Angels, I need a seven. OK. Please. Yeah. Look at you go. Maybe they'll nick off that one wound. If you can survive, you can steal the objective. Oh, that's right. Yep, there you go. I just want to kill you in close combat. Obviously, obviously. Well, you can't interrupt, so there's that. Yep. This is okay. true. This is Holy true. Cow. Yeah, wow. It's not down to the wire because you get to score at the end of your turn, unfortunately. <laughs> but it is pretty close. Yeah, definitely. The models, I mean, we definitely wrecked each other. Oh, yeah. Very All bloody. day long. Very bloody. Okay, so it's going to be Blood Angels. This is, this is cool, though. This is for your... Uh, this is for the uh, Sword of Sanguinius. Yeah. So five attacks plus four attacks, nine attacks from these guys. Um, the blood game's all over again. No rerolls, no anything awesome. I can't add attacks or do anything like that. So Ooh, threes. Taste my spear. Okay, not bad. I'll take it. And then your toughness a lot. So I need Six, fives yeah. going to fours. Okay. Ooh. I only got to get one wound through, but I only do have a reroll. You do have a reroll this turn. Three ups. So fail everything, please. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All, All right. right. 26 attacks from the other folks. I think I have two more attacks from them, actually. Oh, yeah? I do. Chain swords or whatever? Chain Yeah. One hit. OK. One wound. Two up save. Unless you have minus one on it. It's minus one. It's actually minus two. Oh. You're going to reroll that, obviously. Yeah, obviously. Into a one or a two. Come on, come on, come on, the suspense, come on, come on. Uh, weaklings, okay, so 26 attacks from the other guys, going into the one, the one wound of the Lars, yeah, okay. five plus six, hitting on threes, that's a lot of dice. If I roll a four up, Boris will fight when he dies. <laughs> really? Oh, because the... Cause he has the banner. <laughs> so I may take my buddy's advice at this point in the game. And he said, well, you can always just, you know, fight back in real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I do have that one thing. Um, no, I, of course not. Punch. Uh, four, what's his toughness? Five? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be... They're not plus one strength from these things. Nope. So they're just going to be winning on fours. On a four, if he gets to attack, is it they get to a fully attack, or is it just one attack? Because a standard bearer, regular standard says, 
I hey, think... you get to make one close combat attack or shoot as if it was a shooting phase. Yeah, I hate the way that reads. It's a very complex rule. Um, like, it goes away in, in ninth, I'll tell you that, because I used to have an awesome banner for Blood Angels. I remember that one time I, I took his mind over a treason of Zinch. Remember that? Yeah. yeah we, <laughs> we all remember that. That was awesome. But yeah, for some. Uh, let's go here. <laughs> <laughs> so hard to do, and I did it. Uh, okay, so... Make a single attack or fight phase. That's stupid. So you cheated last time with that Terminator. But here's your wounds. I hope you make all ones and twos. That's so, dumb. So we can hear the laughter of someone else on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm That's not going to die. Please. Oh, you're going to die. There's oh, no, dead. You're so dead. He's big time dead. Right. On a four, he's going to fight you like a man. With, yeah, with one, one attack, he will totally do it. Ow. Yes, he doesn't even get to attack. Shit. All right, fine. He's, where's my explosion? You deserve I it. I just carve him up. That's right. Finally, something happened for the Blood Angels. A hero has been taken. All right, and I will just swing around here closer to him. Uh, so that it makes it even harder for Telemann if you want to come over here. <laughs> he was a man of legend. He was yeah. a man of legend. And now he's gone. But perhaps we will avenge him as we fight this term, uh, the... Uh, yeah, who is he swinging into? The Dreadnought, obviously. Okay. Now, even though killing the Dreadnought does not stop you from... Uh, I don't get my point. But um, it's, it's my turn right now. I know. But so. on the start of my turn, oh, because at the end, if you go second per the FAQ, you yeah. don't score to the end of the turn. Right. I just learned that yesterday. So you're in, like, all sorts of benefit zone right oh, now. Oh, I feel good. All right, so five attacks into the Dreadnought. <laughs> I'm just hoping to explode. Two. Yep. Oh, gosh. Okay. And fives. Wait, I'm rerolling once because I am a show captain. Because you are a captain. Okay. And fives. I am in a new turn, but I've already made my reroll, so one save to make. You're gonna live. AP? Oh, unless I roll a three. Yeah, you gotta, uh, it's minus three. So you gotta make. Ooh! Ooh. George! George, he gets to swing back! No one expected that! Oh, four Dang. attacks? No one expected that. Oh, I mean, God! <laughs> Do I have any CP? Uh, I don't think I do. No. I gained one this round, right? You, you did. I don't think you've used one yet. Yeah, you still have one, right? Yeah, I mean, it's the last part of my turn, so yeah. now would be the time. Yeah. Oop. Yeah, we'll go ahead and see if he can hit like a loser. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I can still one die. wound. You I, can, I don't get a reroll. I, I hope. It's I, three up plus five up on advance. George, just do the fan. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, yes. He feels so good. Three damage. Ah. Oh, yes. Three five up right yes. here, buddy. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh, that was a good match. That was good over there. Good job. That's ten points. Woo. That was a big deal. That was a huge deal. Man, what a good game. And now that denied you from holding more objectives. That did a lot of everything. Yeah. Well, that's at the end of your turn, which you still have a lot on the field to play with. Eh, no. Three models, three, four models, three units. Good job. That was good. That was sick. No one expected that. No one, no one expected that. Okay. Well, let's update the score because points oh. have been made. Did yeah, you, but it looks not like, enough. You're at 50. Oof. Yeah, yeah but I, you, I can't catch that. He did some stuff though. You put a very respectable number on there comparatively. So now you just got domination. One, two, three. You just got 10. 10. Taking you to 42. But that's and the summary of my points. That is. And then on the start of my turn, am I on two objectives or That's no? end of your turn, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, total, you just killed two units, right? Yes. So I would need to get three, which is probably not even in the cards. You've, yeah. You've already, no, you haven't killed anything this turn yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You could kill three, honestly. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you got a unit of two intercessors over there. <sighs> Yeah. Wow. You'd okay, so here. what I need to do here, we I basically got the game. The game is made. So if I was trying to maximize my points, um, all I got to do is go to here, and I got this. That would be um, five points. Getting on a third point objective is if not. If you remove them. If I remove them. But you also have to, you can't get more. You can't hold more. If I advance, I'm not going to make it over here no matter what because of the forest. I, you know, is uh, I, I, this is a different configuration of the map than I've done, and the woods here has been a big part of the game. Oh, yeah. I minus think two and minus one to hit is huge. Sometimes, though, I put it in the back, you know? I'm just saying that his location in this particular map oh, yeah. uh, has been very um, a, a part of the, uh, the game. Setting up your, your terrain line, but it's important. I always put woods outside of the deployments because... Yeah. It's, you're going to have to walk through them then. You're going to have to take the minus one. It's yeah. a big factor in the game. Yeah. And then both parties, you know, 
benefit and, and get penalized. Yeah, sometimes I have these in these locations and um, it's been interesting to be the opposite way. And I, I, I think it's more effective. So um, I could try to kill those guys. And at that point, I could get myself 10 points by scoring more, by getting uh, two objectives and scoring more. But that's the same difference as... You wouldn't score more because I still hold two objectives. Oh, yeah, you're right. So and The way you'd have to do it is you'd have to clear off two intercessors and the two wounds remaining on him. Um, and then you could run into there and kill them. And then you're on two, and I'm only on one. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. One thing, I do have a weird, sh one weird idea, because uh, I could, because I could get some, I can advance the same weird, weird, uh, the same Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Yep. yeah, but, and shoot you, but I'd leave this objective, and only one of them would be able to see you if I want to hold the objective. Like, I could run over here, tap the wall, and, oh, no, I can't, this wall is not tappable. This wall doesn't have windows on it, I have to actually go through it. Yeah, so I don't think it's happening. Basically, the easy story is I go, because I'm minus two, so I can only go seven inches. I'm going to have to advance your, even. Your movement isn't bracketed? Well, I guess, no, you're still at the top profile. I'm still at the top, yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I have to advance to even get to this objective. Mm. So it looks like we'll just uh, pretty much make that happen and call it. So I'm going to roll this dice. I roll only a one. one. I use my one CP to re-roll that into a, <laughs> only a one. one. So I actually, my world. I actually can't get to this objective. <laughs> and you're not going to kill five intercessor... Yeah, I have no way to do that. So uh, this guy can't get over here either. I think that means that I'm going to just stop where I'm at, basically, point-wise. I'm not going to be able to uh, do anything better. Yeah, because I basically just uh, fall short right here with a double one. He goes over here. I'll just, just see what would happen. I make an advance. I go four. That can get me all the way to not even through the wall. So that's that. And then he can't deny anyone or run all the way to that objective. Uh, he would have to literally kill all those guys and you're not going to no because he doesn't even have he just doesn't even have the roles to, right, there's, yeah. not, there's not even a role thing he doesn't even have the output to do it so that is going to conclude the game there will be no further primaries there won't be secondaries i get no primaries i get no second no domination no assassinate i stop right there okay i couldn't do anything further so Solid uh game. yeah it was a great game eight great point game. difference it was just right neck and neck everything mattered there's that turn four of holding more that just whoop. that that, saw, that solidified the deal yeah and that was from me not dying when i thought I was, we it was would. your sagittarium guard not yeah. dying from a buffed up primaris chaplain that was crazy you your roles have been nuts this game no it was, it was yours it was your, it was your saves all of all of that yeah it was really good uh, I had a great time. I, uh, I'm sad that I got to kind of edit this up to make it worth it, but I think it's worth it. It was a great battle, and I want to see it on the channel. So if you're watching this on the back end, I did a little work for it. And, um, you know, speaking of work and all those cool cameras and everything, I just want to give a quick shout out and a thank you to everyone that supports us on Patreon, including Scott, who's here playing with me. If you would like to come play with me, you do not have to be on my Patreon, but I do appreciate it regardless. And uh, thank you to all of those out there that are supporting and continue to support so everybody keep taking fun seriously and we will catch you next time scott thank you of course uh check out black carapace studios for all your painting needs peace fantastic